uh, uh, yeah, so hello and uh, uh, welcome to Power Play. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Rick Bud, your game master, um, and uh, I, I am just honestly super excited to be here tonight. We, we've been working on this for, for a long time and I can't believe it's actually here. Um, uh, but I, I have a ton of announcements to make. Um, uh, there, were, there won't usually be this many announcements. But first, uh, I, I want to introduce um, all, all these uh, cool folks uh, on the screen here um, who I, I feel incredibly lucky to be playing with. Um, uh, so, so first, we, we, we have some old friends here. Um, uh, uh, one of my best friends, uh, Sam Galev. Um, uh, hello. Um, I can't just say very sweet things like that right at the beginning of a show. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. But what I meant was uh, one of the um, craftiest and um, most unforgiving players I've ever shared a table with. <laughs> that is also true. Hi. Um, and uh, and 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 uh, also a frequent guest um, uh, from, uh, from from my old show, um, and a guy I've known. Wow, just going back forever now. Um, uh, Omar Najam. Uh, Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Um, and, and, and so, yeah, old friends, but we have new friends too. Um, uh, so yeah, um, uh, we're, we're going to start here. So, um, uh, first of all, um, yeah, uh, 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 Caitlin, um, Bruder, uh, uh, who is uh, two times, um, our, uh, kind of artist in residence, um, yeah, you know, Hello. Did, uh, our amazing character art, which I think you can see now, uh, somewhere. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's great. Hello, Caitlin. Uh, it is, it is super, it is super cool to have you here. Um, I'm so pumped. Yeah, it's gonna no, be good. It's, it's great. Um, and yeah, and and, and the newest the newest friend we have here at the table, uh, B Zelda, um, uh, from um, uh, God, uh, uh, I do uh, stuff. You don't yeah. have to know the stuff. It's all right. <laughs> all kinds of over, you know, over on uh, Saving Throne stuff, um, uh, where, where where I met them. Um, and uh, yeah, and it, you know, I'm I'm super happy to have you all here. Uh, so yeah, let me roll into some of these uh, announcements so I can get through this stuff. So first, uh, uh, speaking of gratitude, uh, I need to throw out a whole bunch of special thanks to people. Um, first, uh, Jake, Kyle, and everyone at uh, Key Times. Um, uh, Jake does. You, you can't believe how much he does. Uh, uh, it's you know, dude. Thank you. Uh, I can't believe how awesome this is all coming out. He cut the intro. Uh, um, and uh, um, which you'll see shortly, and is on Twitter. Um, and uh, I want to throw out a big thanks to Rich Molina Weber, um, a friend of mine who uh, uh, he's a really brilliant game designer uh, who helped me um, uh, hack out uh, the, the rules for this game. He spent eight thousand hours on Skype with me, um, and, and it, right along with him, uh, Nick Gilman and Rick Bear. Um, who uh, sat in the test games with me and Rich uh, as we sort of figured out how to adapt uh, the, the system we're using to our own. And I'll tell you all about that later. Um, so yeah, uh, Rich Molina Weber, Nick Gilman, Rick Bear. Oh my God, I owe you guys forever. Um, and uh, Hector Lowe, uh, our old cohort going back to the dawn of time, brilliant writer and uh, a game designer also. He drew uh, the, um, uh, uh, the logo for the show. Uh, the Power Play logo, which uh, just, yeah, like it feels like all Marvel to me and just kind of like, you know, uh, you know, uh, it was more than I could have asked for. Um, and Annalise Nelson, um, uh, who wrote uh, the amazing theme song, which I have just been had, like it's it stuck in my head for a week. Um, you'll, you'll hear that in a, in a moment. Um, uh, and uh, 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 Jackson Lansing and Eric Campbell, uh, who were just generally uh, a big part of my RPG journey. Uh, 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 and, uh, and, and last, but most, certainly not least, um, Amy Dallin, uh, my, my, my girlfriend who has, uh, um, uh, listened to me talk about this show so much and helped me figure out so much of it that if we had producers, she would be a de facto <laughs> producer on this show. Um, uh, we don't, we don't have producers cause we know we have no money to spend. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, she, she did it all. So thank you, Amy. Um, and, uh, uh. Yeah, and uh, so um, I guess okay. Yeah, moving right along. That's those are the special thanks. Oh my god, if I forgot anybody in the special thanks, I am so sorry. I really tried to be complete here. I know a lot of people helped out with the show. Um, oh yeah, one last one. Dom's look uh, uh, over at Saving Throw, where Tempting Fate uh, lives. Um, Dom, you know, he he was a sounding board for me, uh, figuring out some of the show. He he introduced me uh, to be here. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, he, he, he's great and they do amazing stuff over at Saving Throne, you know, go check them out too. Um, and, uh, so yeah, your subs and your bits, uh, help support Q times, uh, and your donations, uh, to the tip jar. I think there's a bar there down on the bottom. 
uh, kind of help support this show and these players. Um, and uh, if, if you watched uh, the old show, Tempting Fate, you, you kind of get this already. Um, uh, basically, it's like uh, uh, to encourage um, you to help us out. Uh, and, and we, we have a couple of rewards for you to unlock, and uh, you can um, uh, you can see those by hitting uh, uh, exclamation point unlocks. But uh, I'll read them right now. Uh, so first, if we get to fifty dollars tonight, um, uh, fifty bucks is the first uh, tier. Um, uh, the t um, this game uses determination points, uh, which you've probably you know seen something like in another role playing game, like fate points or hero points or stuff like that. Um, it's like the currency of the game; they're useful for a million things. You kind of you know they're always kind of out there in play, um, but each team member only has a very limited number of them in our game. So. Uh, um, what we are what we are offering for fifty dollars is one point of emergency community determination. That if somebody is totally out and needs a point, you can like break a glass in case of emergency, and the audience can sort of come to your rescue with that one point. But that's it, you know, because we don't want to you know we don't want to mess with the economy too much, you know. <laughs> but we do want to give the audience a chance to to, to lend a hand. Um, and speaking of which, um. It, in in the universe, our heroes have a mysterious benefactor. They don't know who it is, and um, uh, and if they try and investigate and find out, they will never get anywhere in that investigation. Sam Belay, um, and uh, uh, um, uh, that mysterious benefactor is actually the audience and um, so the chat. And 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 uh, chat, you uh, we get a if we get to one hundred and fifty dollars uh, um, for the tip jar. Um, you provide the team with one leather suit of armor, which is worth plus one resistance. I think, you know, you can, anybody with RPGs gets, gets the idea here. Um, it's like, I know that doesn't sound a lot, plus one resistance, but at, at the way, our, the level our players are playing at, trust me when I tell you, that's actually kind of a big deal. That's only why I'm only giving one of them instead of one to everybody or something. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, yeah, $150, you get to play Mysterious Benefactor. Um, and if we get to two hundred and fifty dollars, if you're that generous um, uh, with us tonight, um, we will have uh, what I call the after credits lore drop. Um, uh, 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 when the game is over, um, I will narrate to you a scene, which is to give a revealing glimpse of some important but previously unseen part of our story or universe. It could be, you know, this is like where you check in in Thanos and see what he's doing, where you know, where where the little bits and pieces of the universe and the lore that aren't directly connected to our characters come together. And uh, and and that's going to be a lot of lore. It's like you know, I run into new stuff that's got like a million characters and kind of you know a whole bunch of things in this world. So it's like. You know, please unlock the lore drop. I got a great one written tonight. I'd be really excited to be able to read it. Um, so uh, you can, yeah, you can see, um, uh, you can always see those tiers in chat with the command uh, exclamation point unlocks. Um, and uh, yeah, we would really appreciate your generosity. Uh, um, uh, and uh, yeah, we're moving right along. So <sighs> told you there were a lot of announcements. I'm sorry. Um, so the game we play is called Icons, uh, and it is published by Ad Infinitum Adventures, and it was created by a guy named Steve Kenson, uh, who is uh, uh, the dude who also created Mutants and Masterminds, which uh, a lot of people know. Um, uh, you can check him out on Twitter at S. Kenson, uh, and, and uh, the book edition that I have uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, is um, uh, published by Green Ronin. You can get that online, or there's also like a PDF version if you want to check it out. Um, uh, we hacked the rules a tiny bit for our game, or a lot for our game, uh, but it is really cool with its normal rules too. So you know, um, anyway, the game is pretty straightforward. If a player wants to do something, uh, they roll a d6 plus the level of whatever attribute or power uh, that they're using against uh, a level of opposition uh, that was you know attached to whatever they're trying to do, uh, and and I'll roll against them. Um, the players roll a d6. I roll a d4. I'll explain why in a minute. Um, uh, otherwise, the game has a, like I said, a, a economy of determination points that the players or I can spend to achieve various advantages or troubles. Um, and uh, uh, you've probably seen, you know, it's like fate points or hero points and something else. Uh, they can spend them to to do a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, if uh, if if I want, I can use the the points to compel them to do things so that they, they can get them back. You, you've seen stuff like this. Um, but. Uh, um, I, I wanted to play a game that was focused on uh, heroes at the beginning of their journey. Um, you know, I was thinking about like Smallville, you know, like Clark and, and, and uh, you know, Runaways or Heroes, or season one of Heroes. Um, 
and uh, uh, come on, come on, we all know. Um, uh, okay, Sam doesn't know, but the rest of us all know. Um, uh, he doesn't know. No one ever told him. I, they all obeyed the song. I, I will lend you my Heroes Season 1 uh, uh, DVD. Um, uh, so I, I asked the players to make characters uh, that um, are very low level and actually only have one power to start and a fairly low level power. Um, and that's why I'm rolling D4 as opposition to kind of uh, even out some of the math because the game is designed for slightly high, higher level characters. Um, and uh, basically uh, the idea is that um, over the course of the season, the players will earn uh, what the game calls mi minor, moderate, and major changes uh, which can bolster their attributes or give them new specialties or add new aspects to their powers or or eventually, if they're big enough, give them new powers. And, and that's kind of, you know, what power play is going to be. It's like seeing these characters, like, slowly learn what their powers are and what they can do with them and what the limits of their powers are and, you know, what's the right and wrong way to use them and, and, and sort of see them grow in, in, into much higher level, more powerful characters, hopefully, you know, if, if the show keeps going. Um and, and, and I should warn you, we are figuring out a lot of this as we go. Uh, so please bear with us, um, you know, uh, if uh, we have to talk some stuff out during the game. Um, and, and, and feel free to tweet at me if you have questions about rules or lore or anything like that. I'm at rbud913 on Twitter. Um, and, uh, yeah, I got, I got nothing better to do than to talk about this stuff. So, you know, come on. Come on, come at me. Um, and... Uh, yeah, those are all the announcements. Um, uh, so, yeah, oh my God. So now, uh, for the first time ever, uh, anywhere, except for on Twitter all day today, um, we proudly present uh, the Power Play opening credits uh, uh, with the Power Play theme um, uh, by Annalise Nelson. Jake, uh, you want to roll it? So yeah, that is uh, that is the power play opening. I, I've been I, I've been singing that theme. I've just been walking around going bum, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, um, And also, it's like oh my god, I see we're already uh, we're we're already like almost at two hundred dollars. Um, thank you so much. Oh, we've passed two hundred now. We passed that. <laughs> I, I can't see. I got to work on my setup here. Um, <laughs> You know, I've, I've been figuring out a lot with this show, but how I'm going to see everything going on was not something that occurred to me. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm so dying to get to that after credit tour drop for, for week one. Um, but yeah, so let me take you into the world a little bit. Let's 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 do this. Um, uh, Power Play takes place in an alternate universe that is a lot like our own, um, but it also has a lot of differences, and, and you'll learn them as the show goes on. But uh, the, the one that you need to most be aware of today is that uh, in this universe, uh, there is no New York City. Um, instead, uh, the major East Coast metropolis, which sits in the same geographic space as New York in our world, uh, is called Port Ruby. And uh, Port Ruby has a population of uh, just around 9 million people. Um, it is spread out over a geographic area of about 300 square miles, just like New York City. Um, uh, the city is made up of four large counties. New York has five boroughs. We have four counties, and those four counties are uh, called Avalon, Baronsdale, Rifton, and Murr Island. Um, and uh, I think we have a map somewhere which we might be able to throw up uh, which, uh, uh, on screen, um, which can show you a little bit about what, what that looks like. Um, and when you see that map, if you're thinking to yourself, it looks like something a first grader would make using it. <laughs> I thought um, it was beautiful. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, if you're asking yourself, why didn't he make the water blue instead of white? You know, the answer is I'm dumb. Um, but uh, what was it you to assume Port Ruby's water was ever blue? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, we also have this map. Um, okay, so uh, uh, well, we, we, we will get to that one in a second. Can we get the can you show the, the map that's got the uh, the five um, uh, that's sorry, the four counties on it? Uh, the other one, I guess there's only two. Um, but uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, 
Um, just so you know, uh, the County of Avalon is uh, skyscrapers and big business and shopping and theater, you know, like uh, it's kind of Manhattan, um, uh, if you think of it like that. Um, and uh, it, it, um, the County of uh, um, Baronsdale is, it's the most populous county. It's incredibly diverse in every way you can think of, um, not just, you know, demographically, but like type of neighborhood and landscape. It goes, there, there are parts of it that are very urban and look just like the city. There are parts of it that are very suburban and you, you know, just look like a suburb and there's everything in between. Um, uh, Rifton um, is uh, kind of a center for culture and the arts. Uh, uh, there are a lot, a lot of rich citizens live there. Um, uh, Murr Island is very suburban. Um, you can only get there by ferry. It's a little bit like Staten Island like that. Um, and uh, and um, in, in that sense, you know, uh, th th there are a lot of obvious similarities to New York City. Um, oh, yeah, you can see the, the four counties up there right now. You can see that basically I just tried to kind of capture, you know, the outline of New York. The counties aren't, uh, you know, they're, 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 there's water sort of between all of them. They're connected by about, I don't know, 15 or so bridges and tunnels. You know, it, it is basically a lot <laughs> Um, uh, but again, it's like th those resemblances are superficial. Really, Port Ruby is a totally different place with a totally different history, and, and what we're going to figure that all out as we go. Um, now, that being said, um, like in our world, in this world, there are no publicly known superheroes or aliens or, or magic or anything like that. It is the world outside your window, to borrow a phrase. Um, and uh, um, at least it is right now. Um, our story starts on October 11th, 2020, um, at 6 a.m. in the county of Baronsdale, uh, in a neighborhood called Warehouse Park. Um, Benny, uh, can, can you, can you, Benny, can you describe yourself physically? What do you look like? Yeah, uh, Benny is about maybe six. Five six six. She's got really just like wild curly dark hair. Um, she's kind of has perpetual scowl. Possibly people in her life might say she has resting bitch face. Um, she kind of she likes a good a good uh, oversized jacket. Um, wears a lot of jeans, hiking boots, kind of her her deal. But uh, yeah. Okay. Um, it, it, it's 6 a.m. and, uh, you, oh, no. <laughs> you are up real late, uh, doing some editing work. You, uh, you are a filmmaker, um, in, in various ways and, and, uh, you, you make some extra rent by, uh, working as an editor for indie filmmakers and things like that. Is that right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. They send me stuff and I put it together and give it back to them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, and and you you fell asleep right at the you know at, at your workstation last night, and this morning you are awakened. Uh, the phone uh, rings. Um, uh, you pick it up and you see um, it is uh, it, it is your mom's um, uh, Lola and Eileen. I pick it up. Hello. Yeah. Um, and they go. Oh, that's her. That's her. Okay, ready. And one, two, three. Happy birthday oh, right. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Benny. Happy birthday to you. And then they start like cheering and clapping. Yay, yay. Woo. Hey, uh, what time birthday. is it there? Uh well, it, it it's 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 um, it's early, but we we wanted to make sure that we were the first ones to say happy birthday, so we knew it was six a.m. and we we figured you'd be getting up and going to work. I was up, definitely awake. She kind of like pulls like a piece of like scrap paper that was stuck to her face from on the desk. It's like, yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm about ready to leave. Thanks, thanks, guys. Um, any special plans for your birthday or anything? Are you doing anything exciting today? Um, I might. There's a takeout place I really like. I might pick up on my way home, like I do most days. But it'll be fun. Oh, maybe I'll even get dessert. How, how and, and and then I, I, your your other mom, Eileen, chimes in. And how how's that job going? Uh, are you still working at what is it called? Chatterbox. Chatterbox, right? 
yeah, oh, it's great. Love it. Employees are awesome. My bosses are great. Uh, but it's fun though. I got to do some, I got to do some lighting though the other day. That was kind of cool. Uh, this, they were down a person though. It doesn't, I don't think it's going to be permanent. Huh? Well, and, and, and then Lola chimes in again. She said, honey, you know, anytime, you know, if you feel like it is not working out in the big city, you know, you are, you can always come back home. No questions asked. There's no judgment here. We love you. And, and then Eileen, like, don't, say, don't say that. She's going to think that you're going to think she's going to fail. Stop. And they start kind of bickering amongst themselves. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, while they're doing that, you you, you get call waiting, um, and uh, you see that it is uh, it is actually your boss from Shatterbox, Dino Mink. Um, hey hey moms moms, I uh, my boss is calling me. I I gotta go, but I love you very much. Thank you for the beautiful coral arrangement this morning. Um, I'll I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you again pretty soon. I'll send you a picture of my dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. We love you. Oh God, have a great day, honey. Okay, uh, bye. Okay, bye. Love you. Okay, <laughs> Got to hang up and swap. Hello. Good morning, Benny. Uh, hey, uh, hi. It's Dino. Um, I know. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Uh, what's with the attitude? Uh, listen. Have you met me? Uh, no, I I am caught. Hey, I am calling with a birthday present for you. Um. Uh. uh you know that uh, you know that redhead uh, at the uh, aquarium supply store that I've been working on for a few months. Well, she asked me to go upstate with her this weekend, so I need to go out right now and buy a bunch of camping supplies. Um, the catch is, I was supposed to go shoot footage for an interview. So, happy birthday! You get to do an interview. I do. Wait, yes. wait, wait. Part of the interview. Um, I'm just gonna need you to go down there. Uh, I'll tell you where. Set up a camera, point it at the interview subject, ask them questions, oh, record God. the answers, and then bring me the footage back. It's easy. You can do it. You, you know, this. these are the kind of tasks that separate the people who make it at Chatterbox from the people who wind up, you know, washing out. You don't want to be... Come on. I know you're doing this for me. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the the... the... Vote of confidence, do you know? This is great. Do you do you follow sports? No. Okay. Well, um, Port Ruby has a professional football team. It is called the Ogres. And um, their quarterback's name is Steve Blouch. And last week he got into a car accident and the whole city, well, I guess the whole city except you, was on edge worrying about what was going to happen in the playoffs. So uh Luckily, Steve Blouch got some kind of emergency surgery and he pulled through and he's been tweeting all week about like the doctors that uh, helped save him and uh, uh, the, 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 the people upstairs in their infinite wisdom uh, want uh, some kind of, you know, puff piece about uh, uh, the doctors. And um, I, I would say, um, you know, just go down. You know, nobody understands medical stuff. So just, you know. Who will find out who the you know who are they? Where do they come from? What motivates them? What's their favorite movie? That kind of crap. And 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 we'll edit it into something flashy and fun, and it'll feel relevant. Uh, good. Great. Cool. Awesome. All right. Um, Don't get eaten by a bear, Dino. I'll see I, you I, next I, week. Wait. Hang on. I got to tell I'm you. Here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're you're headed down to Serrano Memorial uh, in Yard Hill, um, and uh, you're you're looking for a doctor uh, named uh, uh, Caden Bialto. Cool. Uh, okay, and uh, you know, nothing fancy. Just get the answers. All right. Good so, luck. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it takes uh, you know about I don't know probably twenty minutes or so to get from uh, um, where you are. You live in a neighborhood called Warehouse Park, which is uh, uh, kind of a legally converted old warehouse stuff that's <laughs> like housing now. New York's uh, kind of full of the stuff, and so is Port Ruby. Um, and, um, uh, it, while you are making your way, getting ready for your day and heading over, um, to Yard Hill, uh, to talk to this doctor, um, we are going, uh, to jump, um, uh, over to a neighborhood called Fort Tremble. Um, Vion, uh, what do you look like? Uh, I am a, an Asian American gentleman, uh, about 5'10", sort of scruffy, like fifty percent scruffy, fifty percent well kempt hair. You know what I mean, Rick? Like, it's like yeah. tussled, but it like you know you're like for, for a purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. 
And these types of glasses, sort of this kind of cardigan, really dress the piece for today, if that makes it easier. Um, and, and somewhat stylish, but, you know, like affordably so. All right. Um, very yeah. Brooklyn. <laughs> for keeping very with Brooklyn. the New York thing. Yep. Very Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. And, and you live in Brooklyn, kind of like uh, just south of like what would be Brooklyn Heights, I guess, you know, uh, or, or south, south of Brooklyn Heights. Mm -hmm. But um uh but yeah you also are um uh you also are asleep uh, when there is a, a pounding on your door uh and uh you hear um uh, the, a familiar voice uh, of your landlord uh sandy carp uh sandy carpa um and uh he is just uh hey Vian! Vian! hey uh, Vian! hey one second just give me one second there friend uh and i get up and i open the door yeah, and Sandy Carpa, if, if I had to cast him in uh, for, for, for like a show or a movie, like I, I would probably cast like, I don't know, like uh, like old Cheech Marin, you know, like. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, like kind of wise dad Cheech Marin, you know, that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and he's kind of, I've, I've been banging for I've been banging for five minutes. What, what are you doing in there? Well, uh, up until you started banging, I was getting some sleep, if I'm being quite honest. <laughs> 630. Uh, come on. Uh, listen. Uh, anyway. Um. I got a problem and uh you know our a little arrangement uh uh i uh i am willing to knock a few bucks off your rent this month if you will uh, go figure this out for me uh you scratch my back i scratch yours sounds pretty good to me uh yeah i don't know yeah okay um uh but yeah so I own a storage facility uh, over in Yard Hill, and a uh, silent alarm went off this morning. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm involving the police and that kind of stuff. I go into people's belongings at my facility. You, you don't want to get that stuff. So it's like, would you mind just heading down there, making sure everything's okay? Not a problem. I can do that right away. Thanks, man. Um, now, now, Beyond, you are... Uh, you you are a private investigator, or or and and, and you work out 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 of your living room. Um, That's correct. Yeah, that's um, correct. And uh, what what would you normally take with you uh, to go do something like this? Do you think? Oh, what a great question. Um, definitely my cell phone. Okay. And a notepad. I like to physically take notes. Sort of a writer's tick. My favorite pen. Um, which in this universe is a pilot G2, but we can make something else up in this universe. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've got my normal outfit, cardigan, my little uh, pin that I keep right here that looks just kind of like that, a uh, little star. <laughs> and I think that's, I don't think I'd take anything else. Okay. Maybe I make myself a cup of coffee. All right. Um, yeah, and you sip that coffee as uh, Yard Hill for you is, I don't know, like a 10-minute walk or so. Um, Perfect. And, and, and yeah, you sip your coffee on the way, and uh, when you get uh, to um, uh, Car uh, Carpus Storage Facility, um, you immediately notice that the front gate is open. Well, there we go. Um, <laughs> I would like to just quietly wander in. Yeah, and and I'll say it's a, you, you push it open and um, you stand on on the other side. It's a, it's a tall gate. It's got barbed wire fence around it. Um, uh, I won't even make you roll to say that you know it's like there was a chain that has been cut and is just lying on the ground. Oh, okay. The building. That's intent. <laughs> yeah, the the building is. Um, you know, it's not gigantic, but it's like sort of a, a long, you know, wide and flat. Uh, it looks like, you know, it's surrounded by kind of a parking lot. Um, and uh, yeah, like, so you, you are standing. Is there anything you want to do where you are? Um, I would like to look at the chain specifically and just kind of see if it uh, was like maybe cut by like a bolt, like a bolt cutter. All right. Uh, tell you what. Why don't you just? Yeah. Why don't you do? Uh, let's make the first roll of the game. Oh. Uh, wow, all right. Yeah. M make an intellect roll. Uh, intellect is what you lose to look for clues. Um, and you can uh, you can examine. We'll, we'll say you're examining the chain in, in, in the you know the area around it. Um, okay. Great. And that is investigation. Is that right, Rick? Yeah. It's investigation. Um, and uh, let's because see. I have a plus one to that. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's absolutely an investigation. Uh, so you're rolling a d6. Plus your intelligence, plus your plus one. Okay. Um, and uh, what'd you get? I got a 10. 
Okay, so um, I, I'll just show the audience follows how this works. Um, I got a five, uh, <laughs> um, so it's like that's a massive success. Um, and uh, I'll say is that um, yeah, you you examine the chain and it, it just looks like it was cut with you know bolt cutters or something like that. And you see immediately you you, you look down on the ground and you see uh, a few spots of what you think is uh, blood. Um, and as you walk further in, uh, like in the pavement and the cracks, you, you kind of see more of these blood spots. Um, and then uh, massive success, uh, success you, 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 you see skid marks, like long tire tracks that looks like, you know, some kind of car skidded in or out. You know, I don't know if you, how, how well you can read skid marks, but, um, but certainly you can see them and they look fresh. You can, you can almost smell, you know, the, the burnt rubber uh, still hanging in the air a little um and uh uh yeah and that 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 is what you get um what would you like to do interesting i would like to am i like in the well i guess i'm sort of like in the building already right uh you are standing outside you are inside the fence uh outside the building i would like to very carefully peer in and see if i hear anyone or if i can detect anybody inside the building as it is okay um you walk towards the building make an awareness roll okay and i've got a plus three on that so total i got four um it's still early hear, in the day, you know. You are peering into the window and kind of trying to cup your hands to listen for stuff. And while you are doing that, um, Ulez, when you came back online, you have a brief memory of being in space, just shooting through the stars, planets, black holes, you know, just Kirby space, you know. Um, uh, and, and, and it, it's, it, it's like a flash and, and, and then it's gone. And suddenly you are here, uh, in a small, dark, confined space. Uh, you can't see anything. It, you feel a whole lot of objects around you and it, it, it smells just terrible. Well, I guess my olfactory senses are activated. <laughs> This is very unfortunate. Um, can I? <laughs> I need to escape this area. Um, I would like to press all of the buttons around me. Okay, there are no buttons. Um, oh no! In the dark, you feel it's like it feels like you know you're you're, you're plowing through junk um, uh, or or something like a pile of something. Uh, it, you know, it's very tight in here. Um, and and as you you, you move a little, um. Uh, you know, you, you just feel more of like whatever this, you know, some of it's wet and slimy. Uh, Have I landed in the right place? I need to, I need to run system scans. I need to scan my environment. I need to check my, am I operational? Um, you, uh, it, you can see that you've been running some sort of uh, system diagnostic and self repair. You feel operational. Um, you remember you were headed uh, to a planet called Earth. Um, but when you try and think of where you came from, suddenly there is some kind of block. Uh, those memories can't be accessed. Um, uh, you, you, you know, it, sort of this amnesia like blend of, you know, knowledge and and, and 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 sort of nebulousness um uh, yeah so what would you like to do it's you know you are kind of bunched up my data is corrupt i i need oh. to plug in somewhere i i need to access uh something you, i i know i have to you, you said you wanted to uh scan your yeah yeah yeah, can I, you know, give you a, or can you, can you give me an awareness? What am I aware yeah. of? <laughs> yeah, make an awareness roll. Um, and okay. Okay, so I'm also doing this now. Not just you're gonna. Yeah, you're rolling a d. Uh, oh, right. This right, is awareness. Okay, you know what? Thank you, B, for reminding me. Wow. 
Um, yeah, so we're going to be trying to do a thing where I am going to roll awareness rolls for the players so that, like, they don't know if there's nothing to be aware of or if they failed the roll. Um, so, B, what would you roll for awareness? A D6 plus your awareness is... Uh, um, five. Five. And then do you have any uh, applicable uh, specialties, technology, robotics, electronics, mechanics? No. All right, so five. Okay, yeah, you, your, your scanners come on um, and uh, instantaneously um, you are aware that you are in some kind of uh, uh, pile of garbage. Um, uh, you, you are able to analyze what is around you, the smells, the shapes, um, and uh, you, the conclusion is um, refuse. Mm. Um, I find this dissatisfactory. I'm going to extricate myself from this mess and... Um... Maybe we can make some compost out of it. Um, okay, so so what do you want to try and do? You try and like bust out or something? That's what you're yes. trying to do. Okay, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not even gonna make you roll for it because <laughs> you you just push with all your might and the lid. It's of not the a lot of might. Let yeah. me tell you, <laughs> it's, it's enough. And the lid of the dumpster kind of like pops open. Um, and you stand up and you find yourself standing in a dumpster uh, full of uh, smelly old garbage. Um, and uh, in front of you, you see um, a wide paved lot. Um, you, you, you get that it is concrete. You can recognize that. Um, uh, you, you are standing next to a, 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 a wide flat building. Um, and while you are standing there, uh, you hear uh, kind of <laughs> And uh, this gigantic, angry German shepherd comes running around the side of the building and starts barking at you. Um, I am being attacked. It's not attacking you. It's not. Just, I mean, just to be clear, but it, you, yeah, just it, it's so far just barking at you, just so you know. Yeah. This is an attack, and I must <laughs> grab whatever defenses I have. Um, are there any like? Is there any um like compostable items in this garbage bin? Like, make it into <laughs> the garbage for, for 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 useful items or compostable. Oh, items. good, good. While good, you're good. doing that, um, uh, not an awareness roll. Uh, it's intelligence roll, right? Okay, yeah, so thank you. While you are doing that, um, uh, of course, um, where did Marco? There you go. Uh, while I'm you were just letting out my cats. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> While you are doing that, uh, you, Vion, are looking in the window, listening, when suddenly you hear the sound of a dog barking from somewhere around the corner of the building. All right. Uh, I would like to swing around to the direction of where the dog is barking. Uh, yeah, okay, and you start running over there. B, how did you do? What did you get on your roll? I got a seven. Um... You find uh, um, old coffee grounds, uh, kind of like a, like a sack of old coffee grounds uh, uh, for a seven. Um, uh, uh, I, I happen to do ex exceptionally well over here. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, that's what you were looking for. You were looking for compost, and you found something vaguely in that wheelhouse. Um, yep. what, what exactly do you want to do with it? I'm going to pick it up. You're organic. This is organic. Now go catch it. I'm just going to throw the coffee grinds around. Like, I don't want to throw it at the dog, but like around the dog, presuming that my understanding of these sentient creatures is that they will follow the thing that they want from this garbage bin. Now, okay, so that sounds like a distraction. So, huh, uh, let's call this um, roll. Uh... It's a distraction, but it's a, uh, we'll, we'll call this, um, let's call it a willpower roll. You know, this is one of those things where it's like, you know, when you point and the dog looks at your finger instead of going yes. in the direction you want, you know, that thing. Um, it's like, so yeah, make a willpower roll against the dog, uh, who <laughs> I do have stats for. Uh, <laughs> um, what'd you get? I got a five. <laughs> I'm not rolling so hot. And the dog is just interested enough in the coffee grounds that it sort of turns its head and uh, sort of starts sniffing and slowly walking in that direction. <sighs> As that happens, Vion, you kind of come running around the side and you see 
a dog sniffing at coffee grounds, and this person standing in the dumpster beat. Can you describe yourself? What is Omar seeing? Uh, what is Vion seeing? <laughs> uh, a lot of blinking lights, um, lots of bright pastel colors. Uh, they have about 20 to 50 tube like wires that are coming out of their hair that go from pink to yellow. They are encased in a plastic body. They are smaller than uh, they're like five nothing, a uh, small compact figure with lots of wires, just lots of plastic, lots of very, like again, pastel plastic, and they're just currently covered in coffee grinds. Their visor, which is lit up, their eyes are wide behind it, and they just look like shocked. That is what you see, Vion. <laughs> All right, so first, and then the dog is closest to me, is that right? Yeah. Um, okay, I would like to just quickly like walk by the dog and go like, no, 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 you don't want that. You don't want that. And push the dog away from the coffee grinds because it's dangerous for dogs to be around that much caffeine. Um, you don't want that. You don't want that. And um, then. Yes. <laughs> then <laughs> I would because like also like my body language is not like I'm scared of the dog. I'm just like, no, 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 we're good. But you don't want the coffee. You don't want it. You know, that's for me. It's not for you. You don't want that. And I don't even like that one. Like, I don't like that. Like, you, I, I have to I have to put water in mine. So you don't want it. And then I look up at this uh, person and I look at you covered in coffee grinds. And uh, as for you, I, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Hang but on. Two <laughs> While you are before, as you are talking to the dog, please make a willpower roll. Okay. Dude, I have nothing but confidence right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Will I appreciate power. how many puppy related roles there are already in this game. <laughs> I got an eight, Rick. Okay. <laughs> the dog sort of looks up at you and, you know, like when, you know, when you're like explaining that it's not good uh, for him. Um, and, um, while, while you are talking to the dog, let's, uh, zip over to Yard Hill to Baronsdale, um, Memorial Hospital, uh, where Caden, um, you are in a meeting, uh, with your boss, uh, a world famous surgeon named, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Talley, um, uh, who, if I was casting in a movie, I would, I would cast like CCH Pounder, um, who, for the record, I would cast in everything. Um, and uh, um, you are going over charts and results. Uh, um, you are uh, there with uh, your, um, your, your fellow uh, teammate, um, Dr. Abigail Fripp. Um, if, I, if, I was, if I was casting Abigail, I don't know, I, I would say Kristen Bell, maybe? I don't know. Um, Ooh. Okay, you know, it, you know, never, never bad, never bad. Um, something to something in that wheelhouse. Um, and and, and uh, um, while the two of you are are going over uh, um, details of um, your the cases that uh, you're you're discussing, um, the phone rings and Doctor Tally picks it up and goes, "Uh huh, mm hmm, how long ago?" Okay, I'm on it right now, and hang up. Uh, Dr. D'Alto, they just brought in a John Doe with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. You're on it right now. Absolutely. I'm on my way, doctor. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you are off, uh, to the emergency room. Um, where... I do not run in the hospital, but I move with all alacrity. Yeah. Can you, uh, while you are on the way, describe to us, what does Dr. Kata D'Alto look like? Yes. Uh, Dr. D'Alto is six feet. They are fairly thin without a lot of useful musculature. They have white blonde hair and pale skin that doesn't seem to have a history of sunburn or freckles. Uh, they have gray eyes and a little oddly with the setting and appearance, they have what looks like uh, holographic highlighter contouring on their face. So iridescence uh, wherever the light hits. Very cool. 
Um, uh, yeah, and you uh, get to the emergency room in time to see them uh, wheeling uh, and prepping uh, this John Doe. Um, they are uh, cutting off his clothes, um, which are, you know, kind of blood stained all around and, and, and torn from the, the, uh, the wound. Um, and uh, John Doe is big, kind of grisly looking guy. If I was going to cast him, I would say like Ron Perlman or something like that. Um, and, uh, he is, you know, his wound is probably not the worst you've ever seen, but it's not great either. Um, uh, and, uh, you go to work on him. Um, Dr. Dialto, I, I, I want to see here. Um, I want you to make a role. Um, we're going to call this, uh, it, it to be a function of your intelligence. And then, uh, you have specialty in, uh, surgery. I do. Um, uh, so roll d6 plus your intelligence plus your surgery. I just want to see how well this surgery goes. All right. I spend a point of determination for my patient. Okay. Uh, so when, when they spend a point of determination, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff they could do uh, or that anybody can do when they do that. Um, so uh, one thing you can do is uh, you can do an improved effort where it just adds plus two onto your role. Um, you can get some kind of insight from the GM uh, about what is going on. So right now they can be like, is there anything you can tell me about this bullet wound that will help me here? Um, they can push an ability like or a power, like essentially just add on one to whatever their, their intelligence in this case um uh in, in other cases if this were combat or something they can recover stamina um they can retcon a detail in if you're a comic book person you know retcon uh, when they just like add in a detail like you know that wasn't there um you're allowed to retcon in any detail as long as it doesn't clash with anything we have established before um and, right we have to set up ever more elaborate multiverses to avoid that ever ever happening we we will get there. We will get there. Multiverses. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, Got to start with one. Uh, yeah. And then the last thing you can do is a stunt, which is using one of your abilities, your powers, in an unusual way. But um, I assume you are using the improved effort. Yes, I'm using this for plus two on my surgery. All right. So how does that come out? Oh, that's a six on the dice plus uh, one for surgery plus two for improved effort is nine. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, plus intellect, didn't it? So plus yes, another plus four, so 13, excuse me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> no, I think I might have double numbered. I don't. No. no it's, yeah, 10 plus three is 13. Yep, there we go. 13, yeah, okay. Yeah. So in that case, the surgery goes very well. Um, and uh, um, it is one of those cases where, uh, yeah, you patch this guy up and uh, everybody who was watching was just sort of like, you know, way to go, doc. You know, like just... Everybody at the hospital knows you are all business. You know, you take care of stuff. You work fast. You know, you are kind of, you are the no nonsense in, in, out with, you know, no fuss, you know. Why would someone be in favor of nonsense? Um, <laughs> well, when that is over, um, uh, you find Dr. Um, uh, Tally waiting for you outside of the operating room. Uh, how'd it go? Huh. Went well. Didn't end up being any liver lacerations. It Based on the angle, I was worried it might have nicked uh, the hepatic artery, but there weren't major bleeders. Good. Well, glad that worked out because I have another job for you. Um, and uh, I think you'll like this one. Yes, she Doctor. Kind of a mischievous smile on her face. Uh, and she leads Is it a colectomy? Um, <laughs> no, uh, probably less fun. Uh, <laughs> And she leads you down the hall uh, into uh, what you see is a conference room and opens up the door. And in the door, you see uh, this woman. Um, uh, and uh, Dr. Tally says, um, Dr. D'Alto, uh, I would like you to meet uh, Benny. Uh, I'm sorry, Benny Beckett, was it? Benny Beckett, yeah. Benny Beckett. Um, she's Benny from will like stand up and like has like her little notepad and it's like, um, it's nice to meet you. Benny is from Chatterbox, you know, that uh, website that does all the kind of flash in the pan pop culture stories and stuff. Um, they want to talk to you about Steve Blouch, the big quarterback. Um, the hospital administrators thought this would be good for you and for the hospital. So please tell Miss Beckett anything that she would like to know. And uh, she pats you on the back and leaves and closes the door. Hi. Odd. Uh, hi. And she like turns around and goes and like gets her like gets the camera like uh, like set up and stuff. He's like, um, 
I, uh, it's just going to be an interview. They just want a couple of questions about like you and like what you're up to and for saving that guy. Who, she, who is this again? I don't really know. Um, a sports guy. You did a doctor thing on him. <laughs> and this is true. I will say that you recognize this. You did a quarter, uh, surgery on this. Uh, you, well, you might not know his significance, but um, right. I I will. Uh, it did happen. Look up the chart to under remember the case. <laughs> yeah, and then find the name associated. But that that happens in all due course. But no, who this is for this you. Me, me personally, or who I'm who's supposed to be here. Was there someone else supposed to be here? Yeah, my boss is like, I don't know, is going to get camping gear. So now I'm here. Um, but I'm Benny. I'm from Chatterbox. Which, which is, is like, a flash pan media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um it's, I won't take up too much of your time. Uh, we'll do we'll do it fast. Um, and so Benny will go and like sit down and has like a notepad. I'm sure has like a, a the clipboard of like questions that are like maybe you should print it off online like from other <laughs> other interviews that have been done on Chatterbox because she's not an interviewer. She does she's a camera person, so she's like hmm, stop okay. attacking me, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working really hard. Um, <laughs> So yeah, but Ben also be like, um, so I don't know how much of this they want to be at the about the doctor thing. So, but it seems like maybe that would be more interesting for you to talk about. Well, you understand I can't talk about the details of a patient case. Oh, I don't want to know the details of a patient case. That sounds <laughs> not fun. Um, what made you want to be a doctor? How about that? That sounds like a fun, easy starting point for both of us. I wanted to be a doctor because <laughs> I was encouraged by my peers to do it. Good, good support system. Love, love to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> How Is about you? On... <laughs> <laughs> what made me want to be a doctor? Are you a doctor? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, an intern, unfortunately. Right. So am I. Oh. Well, okay. I'll be a second year resident in a few months. Oh. So are you in internal medicine or? Oh, okay. I haven't seen you. I see. No, uh, intern. I get coffee for people who are doing the job I wish I could be doing. Ah, yeah, I understand perfectly. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that because I want to be doing the thing that yes. the people I'm getting coffee are doing. Yeah. Yes. No, this is all part of the order of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're working on it. Um, seen any good movies recently? <laughs> so the next question, <laughs> question on our list. Uh, uh. Which one is that? You know what? Um, all right. Um, let's see. Um, she starts like skimming through questions and going, going. Um, no, no. Which one? I, I can help you with your interview for your chatterbox. Oh, okay. Please. All right. All right. I'll, okay. I'll help you for for your coffee boss. Thank. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, just tell me what it is. What, what you need. All right. Um. Uh. What do you? How about? How about this? More general. What do you do for fun? Uh. Hobbies outside of doctor things. Internship residency is a time-intensive occupation. Although there have been recent regulations in the United States to reduce the number of hours that interns and residents work, they found that the additional hours contributed to medical errors. I've heard that one. Yeah, that sounds serious. 
Uh, so now that is not a thing, but there are still many hours. <laughs> and, and while you are just staring <laughs> at them, um, the door flies open and it is uh, your colleague, uh, Dr. Uh, Abigail Fripp. Um, and uh, she walks in and she's, um, uh, I think you better come take a look at uh, John Doe over there. Um, yes, I'm on my way. Uh, yes. I will be back to help you with this for your coffee boss, please. I, I appreciate it. Um, have fun doctoring. I will. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. I'll be here, I guess. And, and I'm off if they need me that quickly after surgery. That means there's probably a second later. Yeah, and Dr. Fripp takes you uh, back down to the ER um, where uh, uh, she leads you um, back uh, to the side of this John Doe's uh, bed. She said, um, uh, looks like he's uh, starting to wake up. He seems to be in some kind of pain. Uh, we thought you would want to look at it. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, and uh, as you... Um, as you bend over uh, the gurney to take a look at um, this John Doe, he abruptly grabs your wrist. Um, and uh, he's like, Doc, you, you shouldn't have. And, and while he's holding you, suddenly you, you feel this drain, like you're, you, you get tired real fast. You know, it's like, like getting hit with anesthesia or something like that, that, that quick energy drain. Uh, and, and while he's holding on to you, like he starts kind of, his arm shakes a little and he's like, what, what is this? What is this? Uh, and he lets go of you. And the second he lets go, your energy just comes back. Uh, and he puts his hand down on the gurney and, and, and he sits up and he goes, what is this? And suddenly the gurney starts to shake and the room starts to shake, all the tools on the operating table, the machines hanging overhead, the glass in the observation windows. Caitlin, uh, sorry, uh, Benny, up where you are, you feel the building shake as if there is some kind of earthquake going on. Uh, uh... John Doe stands up out of, out of his gurney and, and he puts his hand on his side. He goes, <sighs> he, he, he looks over at you, Caden, and he's like, what is this? What is this? Is this you? And Dr. Fripp is just staring, has no <laughs> idea what's going on. You need to be calm, please. <laughs> calm the voice, quiet it. Okay, I'm calm. And, and, and he gets up. Uh, where are my clothes? They're at the nurse's station, but you're not stable. If you want to be discharged against medical advice, we can get a form for you. Yeah, I'm stable enough. Uh, and and he, he, he sort of kind of pushes, tries to push past you and head towards the door. And as, he, as he pushes past you, you're going to let him walk past or do you want to do anything? No, I'm I'm mildly concerned i'll have to double check his chart to see if he's got someone's given him steroids and steroid mania like this is not what you would expect post anesthesia so out of concern for his health i will stop him okay. because again there are forms if he wishes to check out against medical advice and uh, i'm happy to bring those to him he is not moving particularly fast, so uh, I'm just going to say make a strength roll. This would just be strength versus strength. Okay. Uh, and hang on, where is his... Six. He easily just sort of pushes you to the side, um, and he seems you know it, it, it was nothing to him uh he, he didn't he, you know he doesn't even look to see if you're okay he doesn't care he just pushes you kind of into the wall pushes the door open and starts walking down the hall and as he walks down the hall you feel a tremor and then another one and then another one and you can see him walking down the hall like you see his back as he's like shaking like sonic booms that remind you very much of your own power I'm go 
I'm going to follow him with, yes, I am going to run in the hospital. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, make a coordination roll. Yes. Seven. Okay, he is moving pretty slow because of the wound. He's he's limping. He's holding his side where the surgery was, but moving a lot faster than you would think for a guy in his position. Um, you are able. You are you are gaining ground on him as he is just walking out the front hospital doors. The the electric doors open. He is just still wearing his hospital gurney, kind of holding it pinched closed with one hand. Uh, and uh, he 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 walks out and he just kind of stands in front of the building for a second, getting his bearings. Sir, you need to stop right there. I'm not sure if you know what you are doing right now. Hey, but... hey, 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 just, just, just back off. And as he screams, hang on a sec, he... He throws just like a huge sonic boom at the ground uh, and uh, uh, just... The, the pavement kind of like splits. Um, the, inside a pipe cracks and water shoots up. Uh, a nearby car that's driving by falls into the crack uh, and uh, it, 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 you know, its engine kind of starts, you know, smoking uh, as it like smashes into the, you know, the, the buckled pavement. Um, what I will say is um, when that happens, oh, about a short walk away, a few blocks away in uh, um, this uh, storage facility, um, uh, Vian um, and uh, Ulez, you are standing there. Vian, you, you have made uh, uh, friends with this dog based on your role, um, or, or at least you know have, have, have mellowed him out in that he is not trying to uh, bite you or drive you off anymore. He's not barking. He is sort of cooperative. Um, uh, and and uh, um, you and Ulez um, are... I think we left, but you were just kind of staring at each other. Uh, well, as for, you know, are you, are you, uh, hello, are you, are you stuck? Greetings. Um, no, I, I wanted to be here. Oh, are, okay. Are, yeah, what, can I, what, can I what, offer you some? Uh, no, um, well, what are you offering? I I would be honest if I would tell you I, I don't know. I really okay. don't I I think I'm, I'm new here. Uh -huh. Um I was looking for Yeah and they're gonna kind of like stand up straight. Their visor will full in with cover and you won't see their eyes for a second. Oh <laughs> and then transparent, you can see their eyes. I was looking for some plants. Do you have any? Me personally, I have a little bit of a garden, but I would love to see it. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I suppose I could show you. Uh, let me ask one quick uh, follow up question then. Yes, what, please. What is the particular reason for your interest in, in, in gardening thereof? Perhaps you would uh, like to be shown a nursery. I don't uh, know what that is. So no, thank you. Oh, all right. So you just want to see my plants? That's my prime directive. Um, as far as my recordings and my data is able to retrieve, I believe that's why I am here um, in this garbage bin to look at plants. Oh, okay. Well, how about, let me, let me just say this. Why don't we step out of the garbage can first? Uh, um, I'm worried I will break. Oh, okay. All right. Well, 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 why don't we why don't we tackle this issue uh, one step at a time? Uh, what? Why are you afraid you'll break? Is it the fall that might occur, or? Mm, well, I did some scans, and I'm gonna like slap the garbage bin. This is stronger than me. I'm gonna point to the the concrete. That is stronger than me. Uh -huh. I'll point to the dog. I'm pretty sure they are also stronger than me. Yeah. Um, well, I worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a strong dog. You're a strong dog. <laughs> you got yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe in yourself. 
Um, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me go get you a ladder. Uh, let me, it's it's going to be a surface with some rungs, and then you'll be able to climb out safely without having to fall. Brilliant. Brilliant. I will remain in this spot. Okay. <laughs> And then I would like to go inside the warehouse and see if I can grab like any sort of ladder or anything. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, I'll I'll tell you what. Um. Let's say that there is a locked exit on this side. I'll give you a chance to see if you can get in through the door. Um. Do you have any? What are your skills as far as lock picking or? Uh. Let's see. I've got oh, slight... you've got slight of hand, right? I do have sleight of hand. It's not exactly lock picking. Um, it's like it's in that wheelhouse. I don't know. I'm going to be strict about that kind of stuff. Let, let, let's say it's you know, uh, um, just make uh, we'll call it um, coordination roll. Okay. And if I'm using a point of determination, this might <laughs> go ahead and get rid of the the uh, the theatrics here. But it, should I declare that before or afterwards? Oh yeah, just so you want to explain the point of determination. Um, uh, well, what you got to do is like um, uh, spend a, a, a point of determination um, uh, 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 by activating, uh, I think, a quality. Uh, okay. Have, right. Um, uh, so. If you I mean, want. like, can I like, like I've got like investigate. All right, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Let me let me try to see what's a, a good yeah, quality I'll here. My character sheet, see your, your qualities. All right? <laughs> okay, so I am. You got five so pieces of paper on the desk in front of me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be really funny. Um, one of my qualities, because uh, I've got three here, Rick, is I'm educated in the school of pop culture. And read a lot of books, read a lot of comic books, watched a lot of TV. I watched even more movies. So I feel like a like Rebel Without a Cause sort of like like a school of hard knocks. A lot of those kind of films might have taught me how to lock a pick and how to pick a lock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I buy that. Um, uh, I will accept your point of determination. And yeah, uh, you want to just add two? Is that the deal? Great. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, sure. Um, so what did you get? Let's see here. I got a three plus a three plus a two. So I got eight. Okay, yeah. And uh, uh, whatever it was you've been watching, it paid off because you were able to open um, that uh, um, uh, that locked door. Um, and uh, you take a look uh, inside the warehouse uh, and you, you, you look inside um, and you see on the ground inside um, more blood um bullet shells uh, oh, oh my gosh I'm sandy lying on the ground um and while you're looking at it you feel like a tremor like you know like you know maybe an earthquake you, you assume at first it's like the subway or something because you don't get a lot of earthquakes in port ruby but then a, you feel another one a second later and, and then another one uh and and you look outside and behind you, you hear like a loud crash. And then like in the, the distance on the horizon, you, you start to see like smoke rising. Um, and uh, I'll say you find, um, you, you find a short step ladder uh, uh, tucked away in a corner um, uh, in plain sight. I, I, w I won't make you go searching the building for a step ladder. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm going to, okay. How much time do we have left for the break? Uh, okay. Um, so you spent that point of determination. I am now essentially going to invoke, uh, I'm going to give you that point of determination back. And oh, I'm, great. Yeah. I am going to say, um, base, I, I'm going to activate your quality, um, uh, um, of uh, uh, huh, we should have named this quality better. Um, <laughs> I wonder which one it is. Yeah, um, I, 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 I'm going to um, name, uh, I'm, I'm going to activate the quality that is associated with your interest in law and justice. Okay, uh, and uh, I, I am going to say, um, uh, that um, I'm playing it as a trouble against you. 
uh, when you hear that explosion and see that smoke on the horizon, you need to go help. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab the stool. Um, I'm going to quickly run over to the dumpster and I'm going to set it up. Can you now, can you climb out uh, oh, on your yes. own? Yes, I, I can. Okay, great. I'm going to help you get down with this stool, but then I got to quickly, I got to go rush over because something's going on. Okay. I, right. I'll, I'll just be around. I don't know where to find plants just yet. Uh, I understand. Okay. Well, well, how, let's get you out first and then maybe I'm going to take you with me. All right. So I'm going to, uh, the step stool is set up. I'm going to, here's my hand. If you need to take it, it is uh, available to you. Uh, thank you for permission. Um, I am made of not the same substance. Uh, so please do not break my hand. I, I will do my very best. <laughs> Trust me. I, I get fragility. <laughs> All right. Am, am I able to like navigate yeah, this? I'm, I'm not going to make y'all roll for that. Um, yeah, you 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 help them out of the dumpster, um, and uh, the two of you head off towards in, uh, the direction of um, uh, the uh, the explosion that you saw, the smoke that you saw on the horizon. Um, I'm going to say that the dog stays behind. Ah! That's We'll come back. Yeah, okay. you didn't quite roll high enough to 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 convert the dog's loyalty, but all um, right. I'm gonna kick away the ground really quickly, like into like somewhere else, and be like, "All right, stay and stay good." Um, and then when we start running, I would like to turn and be like, "By the way, I'm Vion." Oh, hello. Um, my designation is Ulez Gali. I have numbers, but I forgot them because my my files are corrupt. Oh, all right. Well, uh, hopefully that comes back to you, but uh. Ulez for short, is that all right? That is brilliant. And that's not how files work, but thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And the two of you head out towards the explosion. Um, uh, Benny and uh, um, uh, Caden, uh, or, or Caden, you are standing at, at the entrance to the hospital. Um, you see uh, the car go into the ditch, um, and uh, you, you see um, uh, uh, John Doe kind of slowly limping up the street. Um, what do you want to do? I need to get a, as close to him as possible, ideally, to subdue him, but if nothing else, to try to sense his voice and produce the inverse wave, if I can, to try to protect the hospital. Um, Benny, what are you doing when after you felt, or, uh, after you felt all the children? Um, well, first she would have put the camera back in its protective bag and padding and stuff because this is hers and she does not want it busted. It's the only one she has. Um, and then are people like leaving? Like since this, this episode was like in the hallway of this hospital, are people like leaving, get trying to get out of the building? Because if that's um, what's happening, she would follow and like get out of a crumbling building. <laughs> Uh, okay, the, the building's not crumbling. It, it's okay, okay. You see a lot of people like in the hallway looking concerned. Some people are kind of moving towards the exits, but okay. it does not seem that the hospital- People are shooketh, the building is not shook. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay, so I guess she would probably want to get like see what was going on. She wouldn't sit in the room, <laughs> just like politely while the room building shakes. No, she's going to get out. Um, and probably peek out into the hallway and see what like what's happening, get a lay of the land, I guess. Sure. Yeah, you start walking down the hallways. Um, now, uh, outside, um, uh, Caden, you want to run up on uh, on him. Um, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, make a uh, are you trying to be stealthy about it or are you just kind of trying to get close to him but stay out of arm's reach like you know what what is what is your approach i am trying to sneak up because i noticed that he became significantly more agitated and because he's clearly not controlling his voice uh i'm trying to ensure that he does not emotionally escalate at all so if i can sneak up to him probably to a uh, rear naked choke that would both put me in a good position to subdue him and to be close and nearby 
so that I could produce an inv inverse wave if needed, ideally with minimal damage to him. Okay, um, that sounds like a wrestling move. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, essentially, like you're trying to put a hold on a character, um, and that is a test um, uh, of your prowess uh, versus the greater of the opponent's prowess or coordination, which in this case is... Ah, okay. Um, and uh, he is limping up the street kind of slowly. A crowd is starting to form around that car that went into the ditch. Um, you are coming up behind him. Uh, roll to see if you can get the hold on. Uh, let's see. I don't have my specialty here, so that's on 11. Um, okay. So what that means is, yeah, that's no effect. Um, he is incredibly big and incredibly strong, and you get your hands on, and he just pulls his shoulder out. Now it kind of hurts him, and he kind of grunts, and when he grunts, the street shakes again. Uh, and, and, and coming from the other direction the direction that he is walking in, you can see there is a, a guy, um, kind of messy hair, kind of walking with determination towards you. Uh, beside him is somebody in some kind of weird costume or freaky looking cosplay or something. You know, you, you don't even have time to think about it. And it's Port Ruby. You see stuff like that all the time. Um, uh, but, um, they, they are coming up towards you, um, Vion and Ulez. You see Caden try and grab for this guy and miss. Is this a regular occurrence? No, this is a very irregular occurrence. I will observe. Okay, oh. that's probably safe, considering it was difficult to get. Yeah, why don't you take a second just to get a lay of the land? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Benny, you are exiting the hospital just uh, around now, kind of looking around, following the people who are exiting, and you also see Caden up the street um, next to this guy wearing a hospital gown. Um, but you are all kind of surround... Uh, well, you know, the three of you are surrounding him, kind of. Ulez, um, uh, uh, Caden, and uh, Vian. Uh, ben here for the back. Yeah. Question. So, can, are, those of us who are not the doctor, is it clear in any way that the tremors are coming from him? I'll tell you what. Make an uh, intelligence roll. Uh, okay. Roll. <laughs> uh, this probably this would probably be tough to figure out because this is so outside the realm of any yeah. normal experience. All right, Occam's razor would not often lead us here. <laughs> I got a nine for, for my purposes, Rick. Six. You got a nine for your purposes? Okay. What were your purposes? <laughs> Just to also see, same question of like, oh, do I know it's coming from this gentleman? Um, you got a nine and you got a six? Six. Um, I would say, okay, you were close enough, Vion, and, and you see, you, you hear him growl and kind of feel the, the, the landscape shake. Uh, and, 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 you know, you're kind of like, you know, the, you know, you, you get the feeling that those things are connected, even though it seems kind of bizarre. Although, you know, a little bizarre stuff yourself. Um, uh, um, Benny, you kind of you're too far away. You kind of don't quite put that together. Um, you just sort of see it shaking, and you see this this going on down the block. Um, but this uh, seems unnatural. Instant, like this doesn't seem like it's a just like oh, Mother Nature decides. You know, no. screw this block in particular. <laughs> I would say you probably know that you know earthquakes are pretty unusual in you know Port Ruby, and yeah, like a whole bunch of tremors like that in a row are very strange. You know, okay. but that's probably about. You're probably just okay. like weird. You know. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Um, and and John Doe, uh, when when he sees y'all getting close, is he's just like, stay away from me, and he throws you know his arms out and shouts. And when he shouts, there's just like this rumbling again, and this pavement kind of cracks open. Uh, and I'm gonna just say, all four of you and everyone on the street are immediately just knocked off your feet. I'm not even gonna let you roll because it's so powerful, um, Caden. You know your own power. You recognize your own power in this guy, but he 
is using it at a level that seems way beyond anything even you have ever done before. Um, and while you are thinking about that, uh, um, uh, you look up and he has disappeared into the crowd somewhere. Um, and on that, uh, why don't we take a break? Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and, and we'll be back in, how long are the breaks? Um, uh, I, I don't even know how. Sam, do you know how? I can take 10. 10? Okay, yeah, let's take 10. Um, thanks, we'll see you soon. Hello! Um, uh, welcome back to Power Play. Um, when we last saw our characters, um, the mysterious John Doe at the hospital uh, had uh, stolen um, uh, um, uh, Caden's uh, harmonic resonance power and uh, was causing some earthquakes, and uh, the sidewalk began to buckle um, as all uh, four of our characters uh, sort of closed in uh, on him. Um, uh, not like strategically, just mm -hmm. by proximity. Um, and uh, yeah, and the sidewalk crack and you all got knocked off your feet. And um, when, when, when you kind of get back to, you know, when, when you, you know, get your uh, uh, um, orientation back, uh, you, you look around and um, you see uh, um, he is gone. Um, he, he seems to have disappeared into the crowd somewhere. And uh, across the street from the hospital, there is um, a building that is under construction. It has a scaffolding built along the outside of it, as you see all the time in big cities, you know, like some sort of facade work or something. Um, and uh, it covers the whole outside of the building. Um, and it's got, you know, it's a, the, the ground level is boarded up with wood, uh, you know, that's covered in like posters for bands and stuff like that. Um, and uh, you can hear um, from the inside uh, just sort of indiscriminate shouts coming uh, from that site. Now, there are shouting coming from all over the street as well. The street is all cracked. There is a car that is laying in a very deep crack. Uh, its engine is sort of uh, um, smoking. Uh, there is uh, a pipe burst and water is shooting up into the air. People are very disconcerted. They're, you know, um, I, Port Ruby does not get a lot of earthquakes, and uh, it, as far as anybody knows, this was just earthquake activity. Um, that is what the scene looks like. Uh, it's it's pretty wild. You can hear sirens in the distance, but so far nothing has shown up. Um, what do you all want to do? Why don't we start with Caden? Ha uh, uh, <laughs> To did anybody see that man? Did anyone see where he is? He's a danger to himself and others. I need to find him right now. Could, could we have l looked to see when he disappeared, if we could catch sight of him? Um, yeah. Or has the moment passed? Yeah, I, I feel like the moment has passed. Okay. Uh, he just kind of, when you were all like, when you were knocked off your feet, he kind of just jetted. And by the time y'all looked up, I mean, if you want, you can try and search some surrounding areas or something like that. Um, but as far as like spotting where he went, yeah, it, it, the moment has passed. Uh, right now, you are confronted with the scene among, uh, you know, ahead of you. Uh, Vian, are, should I offer my assistance to these individuals? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea, Ulez. Uh, let's quickly uh, introduce ourselves, I suppose. Uh, how are you two doing? I'm Vion. Uh, I'm Benny. Nice to meet you, <laughs> Benny. I, I'm Kate. I'm Caden. Greetings. My <clears throat> name is, uh, my designation is Ulez Gali, and I can offer my assistance by surveying the area for the individual you have deemed violent yeah yeah that would uh, be great yeah you're great for that yes absolutely okay Ulez, um why don't, <laughs> why don't you start by making an um let's call that an intellect roll okay um uh i got my fancy dice uh just flat intellect not adding like investigation you could add investigation that's an investigation yeah <laughs> i got a one plus a two plus what do we see intellect four five six six you 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 are not you, your scanners run you are not picking anything up but you keep scanning um kaden 
um, uh, you can hear the cries of someone screaming in pain from inside that construction site. And uh, I am going to um, say uh, you. I've you got are, pulled my own. You are all work, no play. Um, That's also I, very fair. I'm going to play that as a trouble against you. Uh, <laughs> if you're somebody uh, who's in pain, you got to go provide medical assistance. So you can take that point of determination back right now. Love it. But you, you got to stop looking for John Doe and go help these people or, yeah. or whatever, whoever is screaming. All right. Uh, my name is Dr. Dalto. If you see anything about him, let me know. I, I have to, I have to go to, to work. Um, I, I'm so sorry, Coffee Squire. Uh, soon, very soon. And I'm out. Okay. What I'm actually going to follow them. <laughs> oh, I because love that. Because this might... moment where people are like, goodbye. And then they walk in the same direction. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Benny's kind of like coming up behind me, like, um, actually, like walking really from speed walking. Actually, um, this might be a, a weird question, but maybe uh, for the interview, it might be good to see you on working. I'm not sure how this works. This isn't my part of the job, but would you be adverse to that possible course of action? Uh, if you stay out of my way, it is common practice for us to have observers sometimes. Uh, this is outside of the HIPAA certification that I was taught i don't yes i won't touch Action anything interview yes Good. yeah you're better yeah. at this than i am okay let's go <laughs> i'll follow, <I> follow them <laughs> okay. i i also want to observe but i say this to beyond like really quietly like but there's no plants is this acceptable I, I go go with your gut if you know if you in, enjoy something that's what you should be doing I do not possess a gut. How do I go with it? Well, what I'll say then is do what makes you happy as long as it's not inconveniencing or uh, causing harm to someone else. It's a pretty easy rule. And the inconvenience thing, honestly, that kind of tips depending on the situation or context, you know? So, uh, yeah, let, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I have, am I an inc Excuse me, doctor. Am I an inconvenience if I also observe? I'm just going to shout this over the crowd, over the chaos. There's people running, sirens, you know, the streetlights are blinking. You don't hear a no. <laughs> so you're just running, and now the three of you are all running after them. We're little ducklings. Is that what is, what is, that, what is, that, that is, what is going on here? Um, okay, yeah. I, and, I am speed walking now. We have returned to not running. The okay, world yeah. is my hospital right now. You're very tall, though, so I'm running. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'm going the same speed. That's absolutely fair. I love it. <laughs> That's right. Sam, you're very tall. I saw some people in chat had some questions about Benny's height versus... Uh, yes. I'm shorter than Saul, but still yeah. quite tall. Six okay. is That's just tall. a very convenient number to calibrate to. Um, oh, yeah. I did see that in chat, too. No, Benny is like five, 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 four, not six, five, or six, four. <laughs> As if I said six, five, or six, four, that's my bad. She is not... <laughs> Yeah, Benny. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, the four of you go running and you come to the edge of the construction set. Like I said, it's like a city block where it's like, you know, it's boarded up with wood at the ground level and there is a gate, but this gate, uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, two wooden doors that are sealed uh, from the inside. They've been locked um, uh, so that people from the street can't enter, you know, without being let in, I suppose. And you can hear on the other side, someone just like, ah, 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 get it off me, get it off me. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, and is it pretty obvious, Rick, that it's locked from the inside? Um, I would say that you don't see any lock on the outside. And if you try and push the gate, it, you know, it doesn't open. Um, okay. And it's made of wood. <laughs> it is made of wood, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I turn to the three of you. <laughs> All right, give me one second. Uh, I I'll be right back. And so wait, hold on. It's like it's gated off. Oh gosh, you're okay. <laughs> so it's gated off like here. So we're saying like here's like the thing. Is there are there corners? Like is it also wood on the other sides? 
Yeah, I would say it's probably wood all the way around the block, and then the okay. scaffolding, you know, is just on this side where it's it's sort of built like at the front of the building, you know. Okay, great. Uh, uh, hey, oh, the three of you, why don't you wait here? I I'll be right back. I would like to run around the corner, Rick, and then shortly after, I'd like to open the gate from the inside, if that's all right. Okay. Um. So it it is wood. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you run around the corner, and uh, as you run around the corner, um, you phase through the wooden fence easily, uh, just pass right through it, um, and run along the inside and open the gate, and the three of you are standing there uh, when you see the gate just open from the inside, and there is the owner. Well, I mean, that's why you always check the side for an opening. <laughs> you know, it wasn't uh, <laughs> Thank wasn't you. too much of a mystery. All right, why don't we go ahead and... Yeah, why don't we get back to this thing? Um, Absolutely non-suspicious. I continue toward my patient. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I'm working, so I'm not... I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, he's he's not offering any explanations, I guess, but uh, you all uh, probably... I'm not searching for a side door. So, yeah. Um, you walk inside uh, the gate, and you can see immediately um, uh, the gate opens up basically into what would be the entrance to this building. There is no door. It seems to have been dismantled, you know, like the whole entranceway. Um, and you walk in, and uh, you can see uh, to your left... Uh, there is a stairway that looks like it leads up the scaffolding um, and uh, just just immediately, you know, here and then uh, ahead of you, um, there is, uh, it, it looks like the first floor, the floor has been pulled up. Um, there is a large hole uh, in the middle of it um, and uh, um, you can hear the cries of pain coming from that direction. I run over. Yeah. Okay. Um, I move quickly. We follow. Okay. Um, the four of you uh, walk into the first floor, and uh, you can see immediately that... Uh, uh, there is, like I said, a hole uh, in the floor where you can see down into the basement. Um, this place is very dusty. It smells musty, and you know it's like yeah, it's kind of it's almost even almost a little even hard to breathe in here. It's like kind of so construction, and, you know. Um, and uh, you uh, you peer into the hole in the floor, and down at the bottom, um, you can see there is a guy. Uh, you, you just sort of see his fingertips and like the top of his head uh, and he's laying under what looks like uh, a, a, a fallen pile of cinder blocks. Ooh. Hey, are you all right there, friend? Clearly not. And he's going to start walking up no. and he's going to uh, start lifting, trying to help lift cinder blocks. Well, okay. But first, you're, you're, you're a floor above him. Oh, oh, I see. I see. No. Uh then I would like to, I would like to see if I could get, is there a thing we could jump down onto down there? Or is like, is there a, something I could hold onto near the floor here to hang off of and drop down? Like, hey, what, make an intelligence roll. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bad, just not great. Okay, Richter sheet. Oh, nine. Max roll. Okay. Um, yeah, you, with nine, um, you see, uh, that, uh, there is, um, okay, there is, like, a stack, uh, uh, like, sort of big, thick stack of two-by-fours, um, uh, not just one row, like, several rows of them kind of, like, mm -hmm. bound together, and it's all the way on the floor, it's about six feet up. Uh, and, and what you can see is, what, what your intelligence will yield you is, you think if you kind of hang from the bottom of the floor and drop and you can manage to hit that six foot stack of two by fours it's the fall is not so bad then you can just climb down from there um, okay 
yeah, I would point that out then to to the individuals around me and kind of just be like, okay, okay, okay. So if I think, okay, I sh- she's gonna do it as she talks, like says it um, as she's doing it, like, okay, I think if I grab here, I can get down. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We gotta get down there, right? And she's gonna like look up at the doctor. I have to. Okay. Is it um, is it just cinder blocks, Rick? Uh, I gotta stop doing character voice. That's out of character. Sorry. Is it just <laughs> is it just cinder blocks on the person? Um, that's what um, uh, that's what uh, yeah, no, yeah. Let's say it is just cinder blocks. Sure. Um, it is just cinder blocks. Um, so are you all trying to make this maneuver to go down a floor? I'll definitely I'm definitely do it. going to have to. Okay. I've been compelled. <laughs> and, and Benny, you are, and yeah. Dion, you are. What about you, Liz? You going to? You know, just because all your friends jump off of the first floor of the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm sorry, what? who's the. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, usually I do. So if you do, I understand. <sighs> We are concerned that we will break down there. We will watch from this angle. That sounds great. And if anyone comes this way that's not us, you let us know. Ah, uh, yes. Um, it is to my prime directive that I can emit a light from my hands. If that is the case, I will let you know with a bright white light. Well, great. <laughs> do you want to okay. do that? Do you want to like emit a light? Like, uh, you know, normally I won't suggest stuff as we get as we sort of learn. Mm more it's like you can now do something like try and create the quality of brightly lit uh that you know if you succeed they will be able to get free activates if that quality somehow comes in handy um try something like that you don't have to uh, but it, it would be an option if you wanted to um i like that but there's i've got two two um two routes right now if i were to create a semblance of bright light i think it would come from like my my data hair like my the, all the my, my wires and stuff that possesses all the information you know when i think really hard it might get a little bit brighter um if it's coming from my hands well i, I think i need to message you <laughs> um Ooh. yeah um, yeah okay i see what you're saying so do yeah, you want uh, to use your you know like your hair light can i yeah um yeah no this is a uh what we'll call this is like it's a maneuver you're trying to create the quality of uh illuminated uh for yes it's a new kind of hair light oh my god mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i love it so roll with d6 plus the level of your uh power which is three um okay. let's see do you have anything else that would apply here mechanical uh different kind of mechanical robotics no Electro- electronics no, nope, you only get those things, you know, because you're a, a it's so hard. Um, uh, so yeah, no, um, uh, uh, it is just your power level. So it's three plus a d6. Seven. Seven. Okay. So that is, uh, let's see. Um, I think that's a major success. Wait, where did I put the, I got a chart around here somewhere. Okay. That is. Yeah, okay. So you uh, create the quality plus two free activates. Um, So what I will say is uh, you have created the quality of illumination by lighting up your hair uh, um, uh, very brightly. Um, And uh, now there are two free activates for that quality, which can be used, you know, to play an advantage. Anybody can use those. Um, And then after they're used up, if you want, you can always activate it just by spending more determination. So um, I'm just so people know the system. Um, All right. So yeah, so it, 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 lightens up the whole cab uh um, the whole first floor uh you know you all see this you know kind of beautiful light kind of spread um now yeah you, you actually see her hair uh their hair um light up uh and just you know it's glorious it's really Whoa. glorious um this should provide enough illumination for you to complete the tasks that are required i'll say Okay. You're brilliant. Ah, thank you. Yeah, that's perfect, Ulez. Thank you. I would like to hop down. 
Okay, so yep. why don't all three of you make a coordination roll um, to see if you can uh, make this hop down. And I, will uh, I think this is a great time to activate one of the uses of that quality. Like, we can effectively see handholds more clearly as we're doing this climb down now that the area is well lit. It's seemingly the per like the purpose of doing so in the first place, yes? There's a way. Yeah. Cool. So yes. does that, how does that work with group checks? Yeah. Um, um, I, free activates work for a whole, uh, um, I honestly, I, I'm going to have to look that up. Let's um, say for next night, mm. um, We'll, we'll, we'll call that, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll say plus two uh, to everybody's. Well, no, it's like two free activates. Yeah, no. You know what? I'm going to hold it. Declare it? Oh. Two of you can use it. Otherwise, if a third one of you wants to use it, you got to spend a point of determination. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm okay risking it on, like, honestly, I would rather hold a use for having a well lit surgical field if necessary. No, yeah, you two, no, no, honest. no, you two, no, go ahead. You two use it. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Don't worry about it. So everyone just make your coordination rolls. Okay. Five. Oof. Four. Cool. Should I use the are we using the light? Is that what's happening? <laughs> we would have uh, had to declare. Yeah, okay, you gotta no. declare it. Then four. Dion. Um is it alright if I just go last, Rick? <laughs> yeah, no, you are last, yeah. Okay. Uh have they both climbed down? Um, well, okay, you want to know the result. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Kaden, you, um, you you make it, you manage to leap, and then you kind of get to the ground, and it's a little, you know, off balance, but you're all right. Uh, Benny, you uh, kind of uh, hit the two-by-fours, but then kind of slip off the side and fall to the ground. Um, <gasps> I'll say, you know, it doesn't cost you a stamina or anything like that. By the way, stamina is this game's hit point. Just a hit so point. Uh, yeah, just well, the point can you go damage. Um, and now, yeah, beyond you are the last one up there. Um, if no one's looking at me, can I, can Rick side chat, can I just make my way down? <laughs> can you just make it? Uh, you want to like phase through the floor? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, you try to phase through the floor, but. Uh, it looks like there is some kind of like aluminum lining that is in the floor, and you cannot get. Uh, yeah, you can't get through that. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll just climb down then. You try. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So just make a coordination roll. Okay. Uh, that is going to be five. Okay. So same as Caden. Um, uh, it's it, it's not pretty, but you make it down without uh, uh, falling or, or hurting yourself. Um, and yeah, you are, uh, you, the three of you are now down there. Um, and you see there is this guy and he's kind of like moaning. Uh, he is just buried up to his, you know, neck in, uh, these cinder blocks. Uh, I'm going to rush over and, and, and stop and turn to the doctor and say, is there a good way to pull these off of him? Try to move him as little as possible in case there's, uh, injury impacting his spinal column. We also have to do it fairly quickly. It's possible that crush syndrome can set in, and given the volume that we're looking at, that would be very concerning. Okay. Uh, great. I'm going to start pulling off cinder blocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you do, um, uh, let's say, uh, let's make that a test of strength. Um, okay. Everyone who's pulling up cinder blocks, just make a strength test and tell me what you get. Eight. Six. Okay, Six. yeah. No, no problem for any of you. Um, you are lifting cinder blocks off of this uh, guy. Um, Ulez, while they are doing that, and you are uh, you are standing there, you know, aiming your light, um, you start to hear, like, this kind of creaking, like, like bending metal coming from somewhere above you. Um, you just sort of hear it, and you look up, and, you know, um, you, you don't exactly see anything up there yet um uh it just you know just sort of uh, the ceiling or you know the ceiling of the first floor um mm. and uh then as you watch it a crack appears 
and starts to spread out ahead of you. Um, I, I believe that it is imperative to your mission that I do point out the ceiling of this establishment might collapse. Oh, okay. That's very good to know. Ulez. thank you. You're welcome. Uh, gonna start pulling those cinder blocks off faster. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're you're still working on that. Uh, you're you're, you're you know, you, Caden, you are starting to be able to see, you know, the upper torso of this this man. Uh, he's a construction worker. Um, uh, he uh, he's wearing a hard hat, orange vest. You know. Um, Question about the uh, using a determination to activate a quality. Could I use one to like? quicken this like is there like if i tried to uh activate stubborn as a mule because like we got to get out of here we got to get out of here fast is there any way like i could shortcut us here so we could get him out without like let's say that you just like you kick into gear or something feels right? like a maneuvery yeah. kind of thing yeah. yeah yeah so you activate stubborn as a mule by spending a point of determination like, so, we got to get out of here we got to get here now <laughs> um and uh uh we'll, we'll say uh that that is um How, how would how, how would be a good way to execute that? Ooh, how about this? Um, you you you, let's let us let us retcon. Maybe you would you would retcon in um uh some sort of um, uh like a like a push trolley that you can use to kind of just start like pushing the bricks like a little bit more at a time away away from the site. Um, I don't know. I'm making it up off the top of my yeah. head, but that's like that's like one way. You know, since you're not making another roll, or or you mm -hmm. can just make another roll to try and you know strength plus two just to move faster but like yeah. something say, something to the effect of like finding something that like gives us some leverage to get us you know moves us further you know, along quicker yeah, an actual lever yeah 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 we well, retcon in a crowbar you found a crowbar it was off to the side that you know uh, mm -hmm. we just didn't mention before mm -hmm. um you start it's freaky and she wants out so we gotta we gotta move <laughs> yeah and, and it's going um caden uh you can now see uh you know 75 percent of the uh this guy's body uh anything you i'm keeping do? an eye on the ceiling in case rocks fall uh i have work to do <laughs> against those rocks so it's ha eyes on patient eyes on block eyes on ceiling patients block ceiling just trying to keep my actions per minute very high and keeping my eyes swiveling as okay. we're as we're doing this, um, Benny's going to be like, um, interview questions. Um, do you work in the field often? And it's like, <laughs> I do today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there's, I know there's a defensive maneuver where you can get some sort of bonus by putting yourself in a defensive posture like that, uh, Caden. Um, I, I will have to look up later, you know, exactly what it is called, but something where you can be like, if I'm watching out for that and now... Yeah, I'm readying a, an action, yeah. in effect. Yeah. It's got like a, an actual name somewhere, but I'm not going to stop the game to go looking through papers now, but um, I, I will figure that out for next time. For now, you, let's just say you are on alert. Um, and uh, Only action I take is to defend myself. Uh, all rolls to that effect are plus two, is what the defending action says. Oh, Okay. Oh, it's to defend yourself. Uh, okay, yeah. So if the, the the ceiling falls. That's defending yourself. Um, uh, so let's say um, Benny. Thanks to your stubbornness, uh, uh, you have gotten uh, all those um, off the patient, uh, and uh, the patient is now sort of just lying there wheezing. Um, I, I was just working. Uh, I don't know what happened. You were hit. It looks like a piece of the floor collapsed. Can you tell me your name, sir? Um, uh, my name is Glenn ha Harold. Glenn Har Glenn Harold. Nice to meet you, Glenn. I'm Caden Dalto. I'm the doctor from just across the street. We're gonna get you over there. There was never a better place to have a floor fall on you. We're just gonna have to move you. You understand? Uh huh. And 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 while he's like lying on his back, he suddenly starts pointing up at the ceiling. He's like, ah, 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 and the ceiling sort of starts to crack, and a huge chunk kind of starts to come loose right above where you are lying. I save my patient and everyone here. I blast it. I out myself. Okay. <laughs> um, you uh make a power roll. Um, yep. 
Do you have anything else that's applicable here? Uh, yeah, I'm. I am actually mildly trained in the use of the voice, so. Okay. Uh, I add that as well, and the defending action um, that I was taking. If that still counts. Oh yeah, that still counts. Cool. Um, All right. Uh, wow, this is gonna be big. <laughs> uh, don't don't curse me, please. <laughs> Rocks fall, everybody dies. Episode one. <laughs> Like, okay, okay, it's still early enough to make new characters. So that's, TPK, uh, why not? Two plus one plus three is six plus die. Oh, and I need the uh-oh die. Or the uh-oh die, yeah. You always, uh, Sam I know, that, that raises such confidence. Sam has okay. an uh-oh die. The uh-oh die. If the uh-oh die doesn't do what the uh-oh die needs to do, then uh, uh -oh. what happens is bad. Yeah, uh-oh. <gasps> okay. It's a total of 10, and we're good on the uh -oh die. <laughs> okay. Um, at a total of 10, you just... And, and what does it look like when you use your powers? Uh, it looks almost like sound is coming from them, but they're not saying anything audible. They have their body moving in a supportive gesture, but it's almost the same way that people will work through a gesture to try to get an effect rather than something coming from that part of their body. So it is a push upward and their mouth opens. Awesome. Um, all right, yeah, and that is exactly what happens. And the three of you are watching. Uh, you are standing there, Ulesh, when you just see this sound wave shoot up from below uh, and just like, a, just turn the falling chunk into uh, just, Pebbles like dust before your eyes, and, and and you all see this. I cover my patient. I, uh, I try to protect them from from falling. I know he has the hard hat of all of the things, <laughs> but I think of my patient first. Yeah, and, and, and he, you know, you you cover over him, uh, and, and and he kind of, you know, he he's he's not exactly sure what's going on. Um, uh, the, you know, um, and 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 that's it, and the ceiling kind of quiets down. Um, All right. Uh, I take a note that these were similar powers to the gentleman who sort of wrecked the street outside, but I can tell that this doctor is very concerned with this patient, and so I'm not going to bring it up. But it is something that's in my back pocket. I have clocked it, but it's <laughs> not. But I'm not going to. Clearly, clock we got to take it. care of this person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to clock ben it and lock it. Benny puts away all relevant interview things, turns <laughs> off the camera, and does not this is, makes no mention, but is no longer <laughs> recording anything. Um, um, yeah. Um, we we need to move him. I can't get him up myself. I don't think we can get back up the same way we got down with him. The roof um, is also collapsing at a rate that might be faster than we can maybe escape. I'm not too sure what your speed is. I turned uh, down to the dude. Um, is there like a staircase from down here or another hallway out? I don't know. Um, yeah, so we don't have to carry a broken man out of a hole. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. um, I'm trying to think of what's a good way to do that. Um, uh, there's a holy cart over in the south corner and, and he points and I'll say that you see like a shaft that has, you know, what sort of looks like a small elevator door, you know, in, in the front that's open. Uh, and it looks like it is big enough to put sort of stacks of bricks and lumber and move them up and down. Um, but it is on a pulley and there does not see, it seems to be manually operated. Okay. Um, all right. Can we make like? Can we put? Can we make a tourniquet out of some of the wood down here, and maybe like a tarp or something for the for this person? Well, like we shouldn't thing. need a tourniquet based on what I'm seeing here. I'm worried about the overall vasculature system. But if we can get him, maybe onto some of that siding from over there, we can use that as a makeshift gurney. 
Mm. Great. Yeah. I don't actually, maybe I meant Gurney. I don't know. <laughs> got, it, got it. Yeah. It's all right. It human medicine is a highly technical field. All right. Can we make some can we craft can we craft something real quick to carry? <laughs> yep. Roll for Gina. <laughs> yeah. Roll for Gina. Can I make a Gina roll. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah. So I might be able to offer my my assistance. I possess skills in making things. Oh, I yeah. the floor up. <laughs> yeah, Ulez, if you, yeah. Anything uh, you can do, please. I'll tell you uh, what, make a, uh, yeah, make a, uh, um, this is like, this is a mechanical thing, actually. Yes! So, like, let, let's make an intelligence roll. You can use your mechanical bonus. Um, and uh, uh, let's see, what should the difficulty of this be? Okay, let oh. me know. All right, with my mechanicals, give me an extra one. What is with this is going into dice jail? Um, so one plus one, two plus eight, total of eight. Okay, that is a minor success. So I will say that you know while you are very smart with mechanical stuff, there's just you know there's there's not a ton to work with right here. But you are able to give them instructions on how to essentially create right like a little uh, you know. Uh, um, uh, you know, kind of gurney like uh, uh, that that is attached to this pulley system, and uh, to get it up, the three of you have to operate the pulley, which I'm going to call like, why don't we try just to get one of these in here, a combined effort test. All three of you are going to pull on the rope at once. So it's like, first, who is the lead puller? I think we know that uh, Benny, Vion, and uh, Caden are all. Three, yeah. Yes. Which is to say, none of us looks particularly swole or unswole. <laughs> yeah. How did we miss that? Uh, yeah, I. I got well, points of prowess, not not strength. <laughs> when you start getting your first changes, you can uh, think about uh, bumping up your strength. I had I had a lot of priorities, yo. <laughs> but you know what? I'll say I'll say this. The pulling is um, like that's a core move, and like Vion is not. Listen, I I'm speaking from experience here. Not not a strong not a strong boy, but like definitely has worked on the core boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so let's go for yeah. So Vion can take can take point on this challenge. Yeah. All right. So uh, Vion, um, make your test for this. All right. Strength. Here we go. That's a three. That's a seven. Seven. All right. So Benny and Caden, uh, make the same strength test because you're pulling on the same rope and let me know what you get. Vion, your Nine. Top roll. Nope. Five. Five. Okay. <laughs> so Vion, your seven uh, was a minor success. Um... <laughs> Ooh, am I detrimental here? <laughs> no, no, you can't be detrimental. I don't <laughs> I'll grab your feet. <laughs> and, and I think you will get a plus one for a successful exist um, from uh, Caden, uh, if I am interpreting this correct. Um, and uh, so that gives you plus, uh, what did you say your role was again? I believe I was a seven. Seven, eight. Uh, so you know what? That actually does change um, uh, a, a marginal success into a moderate. Uh, sorry, a moderate Ooh. success into a major success. So um, you, the three of you, uh, mostly the two of you, kind of all pull on the rope, <laughs> and, and it brings the construction worker up. I'm steering. I'm tall, <laughs> so like there's there's poundage that is just doing the work in any pole based activity here. You're right. You're right. And, and when you get the construction worker to the top, I'm going to say you all get back up, and, and, and I'm just going to say, um, Caden, you deliver the construction worker to the hospital. Um, the, there are emergency people, uh, fire people outside in the street now working on the car accident. Um, this, you know, this, this block, uh, it, you know, is a little bit rattled from the earthquake. You see, you know, there are police around and fire and emergency systems. Um, but otherwise, everything has cooled down, and now uh, the four of you are just uh, together, let's say, um, standing out front of the hospital. Thank you for helping me with that patient, all of you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, anything. Um, 
It was an absolute pleasure. Now, real quick question. We sort of noticed that you were able to shoot sonic waves out of your hands at the ceiling. Very impressive. We did it observe it. I mean, yeah. I wasn't going to say anything, but like, yeah. Uh, are you, do you know the gentleman who was outside of the hospital and caused the damage? I don't know how he could have done that he shouldn't be able to do that. He was my patient. I, he grabbed me and then he started, it was like he was using his voice, but he, I don't understand. I don't, all I know is that he's destroyed a lot. God. Are you at liberty to say exactly how you can do that kind of thing? Or is that a bit of a personal question? I don't mean to pry, but there is a, a person running around destroying parts of the city. And that's why he has to be found and stopped. All right. I feel like that's probably the only answer we're going to get. Uh, Let's, I mean, let's stop him. Why are you helping? Me? Yeah. Just a good thing to do, you know? It's, I don't need, I don't, and I can I start like nervously glancing at like my cardigan a little bit, I'll say. <laughs> and then, I, you know, it's just, it's, 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 you know, you do, you do good. And, uh, and then more good comes out of it. That's sort of the, name of the game <laughs> if you're playing that is which i am so why don't we go ahead and try to find this gentleman running around the city we have a better request will yeah, you show us your plants right okay yeah i did i did promise to show yeah i will show you the plants absolutely do you want to see them right now <laughs> oh uh, that would be brilliant did we have other pressing uh, things? I mean, yeah, I'll oh. be honest, which is how I show respect. There is, yeah, to reiterate, there is a gentleman running around the city who's able to use, I think, sonic blasts to cause havoc. Yes. Okay, so yeah, Ulez, I would say that might take top priority, but afterwards, I promise you, I will show you my collection of, of ferns and assorted greenery that I have in my house. Our, apartment. Our fern. Fern. I'm, uh, pardon? Your, your area, your thesis, plants? I have not performed a thesis, not in this specific space. Um... I am on Earth to perform a prime directive to research plants and flowers. Flora, as they are inserted in my database. I... Not wrong. Uh, uh, that's great. That's, I didn't. Thank you. We thought so. Huh. Hey, Benny, huh. you all right? <laughs> Does anyone else at this in this little uh, circle we've created here not see, seem um, less than this is normal, or is is everyone just like this is a chill thing that's being said? If we had a heart rate, it would be much lower than yours. Yeah. Okay. So that's 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 the Caitlin question. And Penny's like, <laughs> "Uh huh, I'm doing great. This has been the weirdest day ever." Are we still interviewing? We don't have to be anymore. Um, please don't. Unless, no, no, I can put, no. We'll talk, I'll come up with some cool movies. How do you feel about the color purple? Is that, can we say that's your favorite color? <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> favorite food, film. do you have a good food? Uh, <laughs> oh, um. The rice. I like the rice. The rice is great. There's a lot of good rices. Um, yeah. I'll write about that. That'll be a great interview with the um, camera. Uh, it got rained on, and uh, we lost all the 
footage and I'll just write a word article. Thank you. I Rick, can I um uh <laughs> spend a point of determination to retcon something? Ooh. Um, what is what 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 quality are you uh, activating? Uh investigation or oh, oh uh yeah. hmm. Yeah, I have to use one of the qualities, huh? Ooh. Do it, do it, do it. Educated. Also, sorry, an explosion just happened in my neighborhood. Uh, educated. <laughs> so this is this game's getting real, Rick. You really invested <laughs> a lot into the immersive nature of this. Um, educated in the school of pop culture. Because this is, I never went to like official detective school. I'm like, I've learned, right? Like, uh -huh. I, I'm just based off of like detectives I've seen and things. Sure. And this is the time I feel like a, a Hail Mary sort of clue would re recur in my head. <laughs> if, okay, so oh, you. The insight. Hey, I love that. <laughs> so, right. So, you want to essentially like activate that quality, spend determination to like get uh, insight from the GM. Oh, ye, uh, is that what you're doing? Or well, I was hoping to just remember something and then bring it up and say like I had noticed it before. Which is kind of insight from the GM. Oh, yeah, you can you can just reframe it. Right. Okay. You're trying to uh, you're you're, tr you're trying to retcon in a detail that that you might noticed. have missed. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have missed that. Vion's now like, oh wait, now I remember <laughs> something that actually connects. You Should know, like the it? Sherlock Holmes thing where like all the brain cells light up and it's yeah. like nerve endings, light, power, information. Yeah, that you just had that moment. Shoom. Yeah, okay. the ratatouille, but not food. <laughs> when you act quality and you spend, uh, a, you know, and you spend the determination, you can use one of those advantages, right? So it's like, yeah, uh, you can you can try to remember this by making an intelligence roll and adding plus two to it, or you can try and remember it by asking me for an insight. Um, or you can try and have, I guess you can retcon in a detail. Um, oh no, I'll just ask the, I'll just ask the GM. Yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's do this. It's an investigation thing. What? Well, yeah, let's go right to the source. Sure. Let's say what you were, you know, you really stop to think about this for a second, and you know what what occurs to you is that when you saw Doctor uh, D'Alto uh, uh, fighting with this guy in the street before, that he was wearing a hospital gown. Mm -hmm. and that he probably had clothes when he came into the hospital. <gasps> Maybe there's something in those clothes that could help you. Of course. Yeah, that's that's what I meant. That's a <laughs> lot better than what I thought, oh, Rick. Yeah, we talked about them in Oh, nice. Um, okay, so if we're going to find this gentleman... Well, hold on a second. A thought just occurred to my head. <laughs> when he was admitted to the hospital, he would have been brought in with his clothes. Is that not correct? Yes, the clothes are at his nursing station. It's what I told him right before he started. The clothes what? are at the nursing station. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go check them for clues. Sure. Um, uh, all four of you head to the nursing station. Um, you walk through the hospital. Um, Ulez, you get some looks from some people uh, who are wondering, you know, if you're like from a show or something, you know, <laughs> What, what's with the fancy costume, you know? Um, some people are like looking at your, you know, the, 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 light, the light up hair and sort of being like, cool. Um, I and, nod at all of them. It is important <laughs> that I give them my acknowledgement. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, and you know, as you, yeah, you, 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 you are sort of, yeah, walking through, you know, hello, hello, like, you know, kind of nodding at people as they go by and spreading some good cheer through the hospital. <laughs> Uh, you know, at first people are a little weirded out, but then you nod and they're kind of like, oh, okay, uh, hey, how's it going? I'm uh, very unassuming. <laughs> as you arrive at the nurse's station, um, uh, there is um, a nurse on duty um, and uh, and a couple of other people just milling about in the room um, and the nurse looks up at you, Dr. D'Alto, um, what can I do for you? Yes, we had a John Doe who came in here about, let's see, how long was that surgery? Six hours ago, uh, was in post-op recovery, took off AMA, didn't sign the forms. Do we still have his clothes? Uh, I, we do, uh, but uh, and an uncertain look kind of grows on her face. And then behind you, uh, a guy, uh, you hear a man's voice, uh, hi. 
uh, and you turn around and one of the people in the room who you, you kind of just didn't clock before, um, he is a man, um, if I was casting him in a movie, uh, make him Cal Penn. Um, cool. And, Wait, yeah, who? Cal Penn. He used uh, to work for the White House. I'm not uh, American, sorry. He was also he was in the also show on House. House. <laughs> he was a so, like, already her. has hospital experience. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, and, oh. uh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Um, and, and he sort of, yeah, walks over, you know, kind of friendly faces. Uh, hi, I, I, I heard you asking about uh, um, John Doe's clothes. What, what, are you, what, what, what is your interest in it, uh, um, Doctor? And he, he reads off your name tag, I guess you probably yeah, have. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You absolutely have to. Yep. Yeah. He's my patient. He's your patient, huh? Yes. Um, I am uh, Leon Neal, and he sort of pats around in his uh, uh, jacket. Um, he, he Congratulations. Pulls, uh, pulls out a um, uh, Port Ruby PD badge. Uh, D uh, Detective Neal um, uh, from the Port Ruby Police Department. Um, um, it is standard procedure for us to uh, check out uh, all instances of gunshot wounds. Um, uh, can you tell me, um, did this man do anything to identify himself? He did not, no. Did he say where he might be going? No, he took off heading west down the street and we lost sight of him. I'm very concerned about his physical well-being, as well as the possibility that he might pose a danger to himself or others. You know, I'm hoping to I, find his information for a follow-up visit. Huh? Oh, that sounds sensible. You, you, you know, I, I was actually, I was talking to some of the doctors upstairs, and and they had said um, when this John Dill woke up out of surgery, he. Uh, uh, he had some kind of jitters or shakes that were pretty severe. They said it shook the whole table, the whole room. Do you remember something like that happening? Well, there was, I mean, there were the actual tremors, but it's... I can look through the charts if you want to see if there was noted any neurological interactions that could cause that. Uh, Make a will talk to the anesthesiologist, maybe. <laughs> Make a willpower roll. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, pray for my mortal soul, y'all. <laughs> uh, six. <laughs> Absolute Di dead, dead center of the road. So, Doctor Dialto, uh, I can't always tell when somebody's lying to me, but I can always tell when a bad liar is lying to me. <sighs> you. How do you know? It's a problem of induction. Uh, um, oh, to develop a feel for it after a while. I, like I said, some people are great at lying. You know, um, I, I won't pretend to be one of these human lie detector types, but you... Are there human lie detectors? Uh, you are not one of those people. I, I feel... You are not telling me something. Uh, what are what do you, you need to know? I need to know whatever it is you're concealing. Do you know something about why the room was shaking, Doctor? I have no positive evidence, honestly. As a scientist, it would be irresponsible of me. And, and, and he wheels around to you, uh, Benny. What about you? What 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 is your name? Uh, Benny. Benny. You have yeah. A last name. Beckett. Oh, Benny Beckett. I like that uh, alliteration. Alliteration, right? That's what they call that. Um, uh huh. And uh, and and he looks over to Ulez. I I not. I don't even know if I'm going to ask what your deal is. One of those I, I have a great deal. Thank you for asking. My designation is Ulez Galli, and my prime directive is to study flora. Are you one of those Comic-Con people? Uh -huh. That information. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, yeah, okay. I, uh, and he looks over at Vian and says, Hey, don't I know you? 
wait a minute. I wait, wait. I I never forget a face. Hang on, hang on. It'll come to me. Hang on. Uh, uh you, uh, you you wrote a book or something, right? Yeah, yeah. You're um, vigor, right? <laughs> I laugh. I kind of chuckle to myself. I don't quite answer, but I pull out my wallet and I reach into my wallet and out of my wallet, I retrieve a little <laughs> headshot that I've signed wow. and I hand it over. I make a it's... willpower roll. <laughs> B is disappointed in you. Who less is probably impressed. <laughs> Benny watches this happen and goes, oh, I thought you looked familiar. What are you doing uh, here? <laughs> I don't I understand roll... why we have the large pictures. Yeah, and and Neil turns to you and he's like, "Yeah, doesn't he look familiar? He wrote all those mystery books, I think, right? You're that mystery writer. You wrote like uh, what were those, those kids' mystery books, like Nancy Drew or something?" <laughs> it, the little yeah, I wrote the little mystery kids. I love those. Uh, I, you know, honestly, but um, and I rolled a ten, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can never figure those things out, but honestly, I, I love them, and you know, oh, my wife loves them, and uh, you know, I oh. think she's gonna, she's gonna love this autograph picture. You know, honestly, uh, thank you. And he, and he tucks it, uh, and he pulls out a business card, and he uh, he kind of waves it at the front of you. Oh, sure, yeah, I'll take that. There we go. <laughs> he hands it to you. He says, uh, "Um, I'm gonna be continuing to investigate this matter." Um, Surely you'll want to talk to my attending, Dr. Tally. I think she would enjoy dealing with you. Doc, Dr. Tally, okay. And he kind of pulls out a notebook and a little pencil and he, and he, and he, and he writes down. And uh, he, uh, he turns around, he's like, uh, I'll be in touch. And, and he walks to the door and then sort of stops by the door and he turns around and he's like, be sure to let me know if you find anything in those clothes. Yeah, yeah, we'll let you know. <laughs> and he leaves. Why is everyone just pawning their work off on me today? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Why he was here? Why didn't he just look at it himself if he wanted to know things? Um, Hospital policy. Yeah, and, and the nurse, uh, uh, the attending nurse, brings you out uh, uh, a box, uh, like a plastic, you know, it's like big Tupperware, and opens up the top of it. Uh, and inside are John Doe's clothes. Um, they are a suit and uh, um, it looks like a, I, I'll tell you what, um, who, who's examining the clothes? Not Benny. <laughs> I mean. Okay, why don't you make an, intelli uh, an intellect roll? Um, and. Uh, I know I am motivated. I also know I am not the ex, I, Sam, no. But, so if anyone else looking over my shoulder. I'm definitely glancing over as well. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm just not. Touch, I don't want to touch anything. I'm sure it's like what? It's a gunshot wound. It's probably bloody and gross. No. <laughs> okay. So whoever is actually trying to make an examination of the clothes, yeah, uh, yeah. make a intel, intel an intellect roll. Uh, Ten. Ten. Ooh. Yeah. The rainbow die is nice to me. For now. Okay. So a ten uh, is a major success, and uh, you look through the clothes you find yeah it's 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 like a navy suit and like a blue shirt and there's a tie um and uh in the pocket uh you find a wallet that has uh cash in it but nothing else uh let's say it has uh two hundred dollars in cash um in fact you know it's not even a wallet it's just two hundred dollars like rolled up with a rubber band in it um and uh uh and um a, a set of car keys It's one of those, like, uh, you know, electronic booper things. Can, oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Sam, I believe you're muted. They have logos on what kind of vehicle uh, it is made. Uh, it, it, I don't remember what it is called, but apparently uh, the BMW is to be teased at. And also the Tesla and maybe the Prius. Uh, we do not tease at the Honda or the Toyota, uh, but I'm still learning about them. And I can't, I, I usually have to look up which one is which. But uh, they have it on the key, on the key thing, is the point that I'm making. Oh. 
<laughs> Make the intellect roll. See if you recognize what uh, the, the symbol on the keys. Sure. Oh, come on, die, you coward. Nine. I... I don't need this kind of positivity in my life. <laughs> you got a nine? Yeah. Um, Maybe it is one of the ones I know not to tease or not tease. <laughs> nine is a... It's a moderate failure. Uh, I question... No, marginal success effort barely succeeds or may fail. Uh, what's your question? I was going to say, I have a specialty in driving. Can I assist at all? Huh. Does that help? Do the, I know enough about cars? Hi, right. Does a specialty in driving imply extra knowledge about cars? I don't know. That's, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> well, let me ask you. As a matter of character, does Benny know a lot about cars? Like, or are you just like a talented driver? Be honest. Hmm... I'm, I'm inclined to say she doesn't know a ton about cars, but that's because Caitlin knows jack shit about cars. <laughs> we can work around that if you want to know a lot about cars, but... I'm going to say... a doctor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> I, my justification for her having the driving school is because she's been driving since she was really young, so I don't know if that necessarily means that she knows a lot about car brands. I feel yeah, like if brands, that would, wouldn't it? Would it? If you've been in doc, uh, that's not the right word. If you've been <laughs> immersed in it since childhood, you kind of learn the ups and ups and the, you know, the good from the bad. And at some point, one of us will remember to figure, like, Google the brand pictures and figure it out. <laughs> I have no access to the internet. <laughs> can, I, can I access the internet and try to Google <laughs> to Google what it looks like <laughs> or whatever the in-world Google is <laughs> to try yeah, to assist any, here? You work in media. I do. That's a really good point the chat brings up that, like, you... I, I, I feel like I mean this is for you to argue, not for me. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, I'm into that. If you work in media, you're a filmmaking person. Are you like you know you? Would you think of like doing a reverse image search or you know like is that? Oh yeah, uh huh, okay. fully. Great. So let's uh, let, you know what I'm not even gonna make you roll for it. Nice. Let's just say um, you spot it, and uh, the car is um, let's let's make up a good name for a car. Um, um, it's called a. Um, um. Anybody? Good name for a car? Like a like a um, car brand? Yeah. Uh, oh, I feel like actually a lot are named after role playing things. Like there's a Pathfinder and there's a Rogue. Those are both things that are cars. That's right. true. It's a bard. Um, <laughs> Love that. it. That's, <laughs> that's so good. There's also a Ranger. Um. To be a ranger. Okay, yeah, like you want to go 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 oh, ranger. No, go I mean I love the bard. I'm just continuing to make the point. Oh. So yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll say yeah. Um, uh, it is. It, it, you recognize uh, the symbol of uh, the the uh, the bard automobile. I'd show everyone. Um, is it like a high end vehicle? Is it common type of like? It's like middle of the roadie. They make okay. uh, um, sedans, like small, you know, SUVs, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, it's not as nice as the tiefling for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so the parking lot. Let's see uh, if it beeps. Can't the, yeah. the alarm thing? If you press the button, it goes very loud, and then it sets off all the all the other ones. How how was this individual brought in? Were they brought in in an ambulance, or did he drive himself? Because otherwise, we don't know where this car is. It's in the chart. I look in the chart. Uh, yeah, you see in the chart, you know, you, know, you just have that. Uh, you, you look in the chart and it says uh, that um, he uh, walked himself in to the hospital. Wow, okay. what a gunshot wound? Mm. Mm. Well, it didn't hit any <laughs> major... Nope, and then I remember hitting and shut up. <laughs> um, Rick, I would like... Can I... Can I, my mind, match the bard is that's really sherlock but like i am an investigator i saw the 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 screeching tire i saw the tire marks oh can i match that knowing that it's a bard 
Um, what is your intelligence? Uh, Vion, you are... My intelligence, my I... intellect is five. You, have, you know what? It's like you can give it a shot. This is gonna—I'm gonna set a very high level of difficulty on this because it is really like super. You know, this is like Sherlock Holmes be like extraordinary human. So what is this? Seven forty. I would like to use my last point of determination. Ooh. What quality are you invoking? Uh oh no uh uh <laughs> you okay. are burning these like <laughs> paper I don't want to like I I rely on this a lot but you know what it's a fun mechanic we're here to play a game um I, I listen again I didn't go to detective school one of the biggest chapters of text for me in terms of investigation Rick for Vion is the film My Cousin Vinny and the <laughs> climax of that film is all about tire marks. <laughs> The, oh my god, the, the best, the best law movie. Uh, so okay, yeah, you know what? Uh, absolutely, you can school of pop culture that. Um, uh, so roll d6. Um, uh, that was your last point of advantage. You're down to zero. Although the audience did buy you that emergency point. Uh, so in case you know you you are now eligible to use it if something comes up. Great. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, make make that roll. Okay. I got a total of 12. What? Okay, that is a major success. Um, <laughs> oh. I will say that, yeah, um, after you saw My Cousin Vinny, you kind of uh, jumped online and did like a mini study in tire tracks because you were like, hey, it, came, it was useful for Vinny. Why not for me? Um, <laughs> and, you know, uh, and I mean, you know, you're, you're no Marisa Tomei, but you were able to tell that, uh, though you, you you do really believe that the skid marks that you saw this morning outside the uh, um, your landlord's storage facility um, would come from could come from a barn. Interesting. All right, we should try to find the vehicle, but also I think I have a lead on tracking down this gentleman. From ah. the brand of the car. Yeah, it, yeah, detective. It's a heck of a thing. <laughs> yeah. Is that your designation? I am an investigator. That is correct. I'm a private investigator, a PI. Brilliant. I am an observer. What is everybody else's designation? Intern? I will have to look that up. <laughs> it's not it's a coffee squire. I'm a ah. coffee squire. If I merge my two understandings of those two words, that sounds magnificent, and I commend you on that task. Thanks. I'm a doctor. Um, that tracks with the information that I have gathered about you. Cool to see you. All right, so I'm just trying to put this together here in my head really quickly of everything we know so far. So this gentleman... Uh, most likely was at the warehouse this morning that uh, as you and I met uh, at that warehouse. There was an altercation. A car screeched out, which is which matches the tire marks I saw earlier today, which it could be these keys, which means that that car is parked somewhere. The gentleman stopped the car, got out, and walked to the hospital. So a thing we could do is actually we could just check in a walking perimeter around the hospital and try to search for this vehicle. Perfect. Uh, yeah. It'll take a little bit of time, but you know, that's one thing. That's one thing we can do. I want to take the keys, go outside and start spamming the alarm button. <laughs> like doing one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're yeah. And that is <laughs> a very good strategy. <laughs> um, yeah. And you're doing that. And the four of you are just kind of walking around the block together while you spam that alarm button. Anything y'all want to talk about or do while you're just uh, walking around the block? What kind of plants are in this location? Uh, well, here in, in the city? Uh, specifically around us. What do you call that tuft of green coming up from the pavement? Uh, th uh, w that's, a, oh, that's a little bit of grass. Brilliant. Let me enter that, and I will continue to study it. But please, carry on. I, I will assist. Uh. Uh, so while we're walking, I turn to Benny and go, so uh, an intern just got wrapped into some some pretty uh, <laughs> exciting stuff, huh? Apparently, um, 
I wasn't even supposed to be here today. My boss went camping or something. Oh, I see. Okay. And now I'm about to write a fake interview because I don't think I can submit any of this. Um, yeah, that makes perfect sense. What do you usually write about? I don't. This is, I get coffee. I'm a, uh, all, I'm with Chatterbox. Uh, uh, I want to be um, trying to get into like filmmaking and camera work. Uh, sometimes they let me hold the lights, but like mostly I just move props and get coffee and drive people around. Well, I don't know why I'm writing an interview. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Well, I don't know. Today you've helped uh, quite a bit. So thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, you saved a man's life. That was pretty big. I, yeah, I forgot about that. A lot's happened since. Um, yeah, big day. Uh, hey, Doc, you get anything <laughs> on that blinker yet? And uh, just as he asked <laughs> that, boop, boop, you actually hear a sound. Oh, that even sounds like the unlock and not the alarm which is even more discreet. Uh, I we, I think it's this one. Yeah, you, you hit the button a couple of times and it leads you over to, uh, let's say, uh, an SUV, um, you know, kind of small SUV with uh, uh, it's like black with dark windows. Um, and uh, it is parked, um, uh, it, it is parked at a meter that is expired. Uh, just, does it have one of the blue things that lets you do that? It does not. If you have one of the blue things, you can position a vehicle in this location for an indeterminate amount of time without putting currency into the meter. And I'm explaining this directly to Ulas. I see. This is fascinating. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but this is probably the vehicle of the person we're looking for. Excellent. How do we enter? Uh, well, this works as a piece of technology, and as actual technology. They can remotely open their vehicles. I would love to take that apart. I don't know if it still works if we do that, so we'll get what we need from here. Then may I have it, please? We will assess the tactics of whether that's a wise decision based on our findings. Do you concur? Understood. I concur. Perfect. I'll now enter the vehicle and search through, uh, starting with the small storage. They put a lot of things in the small storage on the right side. And you open, uh, where do you start? You start, so you start oh, really quick. I'm sorry, real quick. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Rick. Real quick. Uh, <laughs> quick time out. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Uh, doctor, I I'm just going to ask you point blank, because again, honesty is how I show respect. <laughs> oh god, is this not on the side? Cool, great. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is great. Are you You're not from here, are you? <laughs> There's so many layers to that coming from beyond, too, but thank you. <laughs> No, I'm not. Okay. I mean, I'm also not from here. That's It's a big city. A lot of people move here from other places. Benny, are you from uh, this country? Hop. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> okay. Uh, Doc, what state are you from? I'm not from here. Okay, yeah, I'm, I understand that. I'm also I'm from the other coast myself, uh, right. and I came quite a ways. Um, so where would you? Where are you from? I'm also from the other coast. Okay, <laughs> all right. 
it's yeah. just because and here's here's my point of contention and again i don't care about the way i've been very laissez fair with a lot of stuff that's happened today and trust me i've seen my i've seen i haven't even she, i haven't even gotten into my own backstory but what I, really what i want to point out is when you were talking about the the car you said this is where they put the stuff i think you're referring to and i if I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit it. But I think you're referring to human beings as the they that put the stuff in the small boxes in the vehicle. Is that is that correct? Do you know other entities that put stuff in that vehicle? No. I, I no, I don't. That's a great point. Because I'm because I would Do say you think we. I have a vehicle that I drive. I don't I don't know. It's the city. A lot of people walk or take, you know, the subway. They. So you met car owners? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Honestly, that's yeah, that's fine. We'll put a I'm pin gonna start on going through the car now. <laughs> and and with that, Caden, you open uh, the passenger side front door to get to the glove compartment you were saying? Yep. Um, I do. And, and, and as you open it, uh, it flies open, and John Doe comes tumbling out, uh, and he just what? grabs your shoulders, and you are too surprised to react. Um, as he grabs your shoulders again, you feel that draining. Pull. Can I punch him in the jaw? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can. You want to punch him? Yeah, he just jumped out. It scared the shit out of me and also attacked my new friend. So I uh, think her immediate reaction would be just like <laughs> Okay. Uh, he uh he 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 as he holds you by the shoulders, uh Caden, you, you feel that draining feeling and then he like throws you and you kind of fall to the ground and your your energy starts to come back as <sighs> Benny Oh, like I would have like I would have liked it to have been like during that was happening, but if I can't, oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. Sorry, like sorry. as soon as he jumps out and grabs, <laughs> so I'm like just panic snap. Yeah. While he still got Caden uh, by the shoulders, you now is it you're just punching? Yeah, I'm. As, I'm as hopefully I can use it. Like I mean, it's a kickbox move, just like a maybe just like an uppercut, like if he's standing right there, like, like kickbox, kickboxing. You want to do like a uh, kickboxing is punching as well. Like that's okay. Sure. Um, so let's say, uh, you are not using your power at all though, right? No. Okay. Um, okay. So where is his sheet? He is okay. <laughs> Let me know what you get. Okay. Um, okay. So it's prowess, correct? For a hit. Pro yeah. Prowess. And then I get my kickboxing. Is it, is it going to help at all that he's in the middle of a task? Is he distracted with this? Um, no, because he no? got the okay. on you, so he's like okay, kind of cool. not distracted. <laughs> Sounds good. This might go really badly, but I, she's, she would immediately try to hit. It's entirely possible. Ooh, 11. 11. Um, yeah, and you connect with his jaw. Um, and it's, you know, he's a very big, strong dude. And it's like, you know, he, he kind of, you know, when you, when you connect with him, he drops Caden. Um, who kind of falls to the ground, and 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 as he as he lets go of you, you feel your strength come back, Caden. Um, and he kind of looks over at you, Benny. Um, you know, like he's a little surprised, and he rubs his jaw, and he kind of nods at you, like he's a little impressed. And 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 he sort of takes a step back at the four, and, and he looks at the four of you, and he's just like, getting out of here, and nobody follow. You know what? I just don't trust the four of you. And 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 he shouts and pushes his arms down at the ground, and the whole block rumbles. And this time, it's it's way stronger than it was before. You see cars flipping, the road buckling, uh, and 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 uh, um, people, you know, start shouting, falling. All of you are knocked immediately off of your feet. He grabs his side and runs uh, down the road, um, sort of hobbles into the screaming crowd um, and disappears again. Uh, this is much bigger. Last time he rattled a block, this time it was twice the strength. And as you all lay there on the ground, you hear screams in the distance. You, you, you see damage already in the buildings in front of you. 
you can see smoke rising on the horizon from the buildings uh, of, um, of Yard Hill. And on that, we'll see you next week. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but because uh, uh, the audience, I mean, the audience was just amazing with us tonight. If I if I, if I see this correct, uh, y'all 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 put four hundred and ten dollars into the tip jar. Oh my god! Um, oh my god! Four hundred ten. I, I, I thank you. We are uh, thank you so much. Um, we did not burn the community point of determination, so I think uh, I think I'll bank that for next week. Let me think about how that should work. Um, you did not get your gift from your mysterious benefactor because you all have just coming back from a team, but the mysterious benefactor owes you one set of armor, which you will get, uh, you leather. know, as soon as it becomes appropriate. Leather. Uh, leather, leather armor plus, plus one. Thank you. Um, but the best part about it is that it unlocks the after credits lore drop. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh God. Oh, God. So the credits roll, uh, and we get you know the music. Dun, 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 uh, and after the credits roll, uh, cuts to black, and then all of a sudden it comes back, uh, and, and and on the screen, um, uh, we see uh, we are in the small Eastern European nation of Astrovia, uh, and the year is 1095 CE, um, and we are in the shop of. It looks like some sort of tinker or or, or, or primitive scientist. Uh, as we as we pan around, we, we we see him working with beakers and test tubes. Um, we, we we see pictures on the wall of of, of uh, uh, you know pentagrams and drawings, and we get the feeling he might be some kind of an alchemist. Um, and and as, as he works, um, if I was going to cast him, let's say he's uh, Christopher Lee. Um, and uh, as the alchemist works. Um, and on some concoction, there is a knock at the door, and he goes and he opens up the door. And he opens it on a, a, a youngish man, uh, or, or man, youngish, early 30s, let's say, I don't know. Um, and uh, uh, he is Caucasian, very dirty face, long beard, long hair. You know, it's like I'm not even going to cast him with an actor because he's just so kind of mucked up with dirt and stuff. You, you wouldn't even be able to see his face. Um, and he, he is clearly a peasant of some kind. Uh, and uh, the peasant looks up to the alchemist and he says, um, I have your money. And he, he hands him a pouch and the alchemist takes the pouch and he opens it and he, 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 he empties it into his hand and there are a bunch of gold coins and the alchemist looks back at the peasant and he says, it's not enough. And the peasant says, it's what we agreed on. And the alchemist says, but I think you have more. And I want it. And the peasant nods and he shakes his head in frustration and, and he digs into his pocket and, and he pulls out uh, a folded kind of lump of cloth and, and he unfolds the cloth and inside is a surprisingly large diamond. And he hands it to the alchemist and the alchemist looks it over and smiles. And he looks at the peasant and he says, that's more like it. Now come in. And the peasant walks in and the alchemist says, let's get started. And he closes the door and locks it. And we'll see you next week for the, the exciting continuation of Power Play. Kyle, uh, thank you yeah. so much for this break. Oh, oh my goodness, thank, thank you. Y'all are incredible. Honestly, it's like, I forgot I was involved. I was just sitting watching back and just watching <laughs> you all talk and interact. And like, I didn't, I, I, like, I didn't even want to say anything. It was like, uh, that was so much fun. Uh, I'm so psyched about this. Um, and thank you so much to the, uh, uh, the chat and the audience um, for, uh, for, for unlocking everything. Um, I wanted to be able to read that after credits drop so bad. Um, and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Um, are there closing announcements? Uh, I mean, just, you know, we are back here next Sunday um, from 5 to 8, where we're doing a 10-episode first season. Uh, we hope you will keep coming back and joining us. Um, uh, why don't we quickly go around the table? Uh, there is no table. Let's go around the virtual table, starting with um, uh, um, uh, uh, B. Zelda. Let the good people know where they can find you in the world. Hello, hello. My name is Bizelda. My pronouns are they, them. And I have graced you all with the presence of Ulez Gali. Uh, if you are so inclined, you can find me on Twitter as at B underscore Zelda. 
if you want to follow me on Instagram, add an extra underscore towards the end. And you can probably see endless pictures of my dogs. Otherwise, I am a regular streamer. Follow me on my social media for my schedule and or catch me on the Broadswords where I am a tiefling barbarian. You had us at dogs. <laughs> Just wait. When everybody's done their ex like their exits, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my dog. <laughs> Caitlin Bruder. Hi, I'm Caitlin Bruder, and I've been Benny Beckett today. Um, you can find me on Twitter at k k a m a b r. It's not a word. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, you can find me this week on Wednesday at twitch.tv slash rule of lore is the finale of the Tales from the Loop game that I've been running. Uh, it's been four parts if you want to catch up before then there's three episodes it's all, all on my twitter that's 6 p.m pacific time it's great uh it's been it's been a blast and then um if you want to see me with superpowers again uh in two weeks we're coming back for season two of our cypher game infinite horizon same channel same time um and uh if you did if you missed season one we put together a season one recap which is coming out tomorrow i think so it's like 80 hours of content condensed to like 15 minutes so like yeah. <laughs> it was fun and it features all fan art from from the past first season so it's it's gonna be great so yeah that's that's all everything else that i'm doing in my life will all be on twitter but those are the big ones so it's been great thanks for having me <laughs> I, I had to write one of those 80 hours and two minute recaps for vast a couple of years ago and like i i feel your pain <laughs> There is nothing uh, like someone being like, can you distill 80 hours of RPG into two minutes of recap where you're just like, no, no, I can't. I luckily uh, didn't have to do a lot of the writing bits for it, but I was present for most of it. And it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Omar Najam. Hi, I'm Omar Najam, uh, he, him. And you can find me on Twitter at Omar Najam. Also, if you like Halloween or like creative stuff or like creative Halloween stuff, check out 13days13shorts.com. It's a little festival I'm running right now. It kicks off on the 19th where people just make art for Halloween. That's it. There's no money involved. No, nothing. It's that simple. If you're like, is that it? Yeah, that's it. We just make art. Every day gets a theme and people make stuff inspired by it. So it's a ton of fun. 13days13shorts.com. And you can sign up if you want to make art. So it's cool. It's chill. If you get busy, don't worry about it. There it is. And last but certainly not least, Sam Delev. Hi, I'm Dr. Caden DeAlto. I've been playing Sam Delev. Yep, that was definitely the order that everything is intended. Uh, mm -hmm. As a uh, normal and absolutely unsuspicious person, you can find me continuing to be innocent of all crimes throughout the Twitcher net. I do role playing and personal streams, and the best way to find out where I'm going to be is, well, the answer is I'm inside the internet void, but specific addresses can be found on twitch.tv slash delevely, D-E-L-E-V-E-L-Y. If you want to retweet, uh, watch me retweet people who say things uh, more meaningful than myself, uh, check out my Twitter at Tchaikovsky, C-H-A-I-K-O-V-S-K-Y. Uh, and I'm Rick Bud. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at rbud913, or you can follow this show on Twitter and Instagram at PowerPlayRPG. Um, and uh, yeah, we will be back here um, next week. Same power play time, same power play channel. Uh, and, uh, and I think that's it. Um, uh, thanks for playing with us, everybody. Uh, good night.